Hello. Welcome to the Rich Youth Podcast. This week brought to you by Boomerang, Dollar Shave Club, and Pro Flowers. Oh, and also the Rich Tea Store, I guess. Uh, I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. I'm Barbara. I'm Bertie. And I'm Gus. Why does the bathroom here outside of Stage 5 smell like utter ass? Because that's where because people the put their ass. Are, I mean, it's. I, I, let me rephrase that. Why does it smell like raw sewage? Because it's the bathroom. Do you remember how My bad bathroom the- at home doesn't smell like fucking raw sewage. because the- you don't have like 80 boys shitting in it. Does, does the women's outside of stage five also smell? No. It is a fucking nightmare out there. Is it really? Yeah. It's it- fucking disgusting. Have you is got it- some- Give me some back this up. Is it every day or just? Yeah, it's garbage? Oh, okay. I didn't know. It's terrible. Well, how many? I mean, the Wiz is like a huge company with never- lots of employees and a bathroom that smells bug, like an open sewer. Our bog situation has always been terrible. It's fucked up. It it's used like to be worse. a couple of bogs. It no, used to it be didn't. worse. You used to have the privacy of your own room. The honey wagon was horrifying. Oh god. Yeah, which the is essentially wagon? like a it's a nice porta potty, right? Oh, but remember how bad that thing got? Yeah, it, it was it stunk. was I don't remember horrible. what you're on about. It was the like, honey wagon. It was like, it was the temporary here. bathrooms like behind the, when they tore five. down the bathroom and rebuilt it? It kind of looks like the the type of bathroom on a movie set. Like where it's like I don't remember that. Really? It was How when we was first moved here, and it was like back when we where first the moved here. We had the ones there that were like individual two rooms, and also the ones back there that was the honey wagon. Yeah, back when you were the achievement hunter was right here in stage five before you guys moved over next door. Yeah, they, they tore down the bathrooms, and there was a, a honey wagon, a trailer out back and for like six months, and yeah. the well, lock rebuilding them. broke on it when I was in there, and I thought <laughs> I was going to die from the smell and the horribleness of it. Oh, I, like you couldn't get I out? couldn't get out, <laughs> and I legitimately started to panic, like a, like an animal in a cage. Did you worried that the oxygen levels were dropping and like yeah. methane was right? I actually up. was like trying to see if I get lower to the floor if it was better. I mean, <laughs> Wait, that's does how methane sink though? Does oxygen sink? What? I think it's methane heavier than oxygen, though. Is that what it is? Methane? Do people put out methane? Yeah, with their butts. <laughs> I don't know. Is, is methane heavier? Tweet us using hashtag RT podcast if you know the answer. <laughs> right, we, already, we hit science. How much methane? Do you somehow your butt? two float. seconds into this thing. Do farts sink or float? That's what we want to know. Well, farts float. They come up. We all float down here. They come up through water. Water, yeah. But not through air. Yeah. I want, to, I want to know some density here. No, it has to. <laughs> Otherwise, how would it how would it spread through a room? It would just drop to the floor and sneak around at your feet. It might drop to the floor and bounce up the walls. <laughs> Do like some kind of convection thing? Yeah. Hmm. Be interesting. No. Maybe it's like at different temperatures. Then like as first. it cools, it rises or something. Uh, or maybe like proximity to sea level, it does something different. So this used just... to be an award-winning podcast. And now <laughs> it's been a while first... since we had an award. Give us an award. <laughs> first two minutes is already about the buoyancy of farts. Well, is this is this smell that has been lasting like a long time, or is it more recent? I feel like it's always there in the background, but today it's like punching you in the face and taking your wallet. Maybe it's, but it's like not even of... it's not even hot today. No, so it's not How like a heated been... anal. Pot. It is a little. Mike, that is, stage... Mike is saying it's sewer gas, and I, I think I agree with him. That's it's what it sewer gas like. seems really bad. It sounds flammable. Yeah, it does sound flammable. Should we go in there and light a match? Well, it's methane. Methane. There, there, we light not? a match at the at the ceiling and light a match at the floor <laughs> and see which one causes the explosion. Right. That'll be a good experiment. Mm-hmm. He died, but at least we found out if uh, farts sink. Swear helmet. The um. Peter Hayes is saying methane is less dense than air. I you see my source, solution? Peter Hayes. Never use the restroom at work. That's what I do. We're not comparing it to air though. I learned yeah, that when I was at school. Apparently, it's oxygen. I just have specific but bathrooms for okay, specific right. uses, like the but one. In, the, the one, one in bathroom will be terrible. One in soundcheck is always poo. Everything else is fair game. I never poop in the the ones outside oh, here. I pooped in the bundle. Just reminded me what my note was. So this this week <laughs> in my note, <laughs> anal, the, what the was things, it? Anal slime. The things we talk about on the RT podcast. I've just written anal slime. And I couldn't remember what that was. So and we what, were guessing what, what it was. That, we were trying to figure out, Gavin, what anal slime could have been. But <laughs> in sound check on the back of the toilet. Oh, so what, why are we on this topic? It's like this weird slime layer. And I'm wondering, how did it get there? Like, what was it someone's ass sweat that is just solidified in a paste? What? Or did it like secrete from an anus somehow? Are we talking about like poo slime? No, no, it's like s- yellow. <laughs> Like a thick layer of, you, you, the light catches it, it glistens. Did you take a photo of it? No, I'm not going to take a picture of someone's <laughs> anal slime. Do we want to go get a photo? Everyone's shaking their head no, I won't even ask. <laughs> yeah, half the crew is, is gagging now. <laughs> well, that's actually... The sound check bathroom? Sound check bog, right uh, the back. Like, Patrick is the hero. Well, that's actually a really good segue to something I want to talk about. Which well, is it's one of our great League. sponsors. Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> this week. Uh, you guys, none of you guys saw Justice League. No. No. Okay. I, I, I tried to see Thor Ragnarok this weekend, but it's still sold out. Yeah, man. It's a good movie. Wait, Gus levels have sold out? Like, there's 10 people in like, there? Or it's... No, like, I, the only seat <laughs> available was another front row. another seat sold. 
The only seats available were front row. Oh, yeah, that's you don't want that. Yeah, that's basically so. Where, at the Alamo? Yeah. yeah. When, when are you trying to book your tickets, Gus? You trying to book, like, right before you go? Yeah. There you go. That's your problem. <laughs> I also, I'm not a planner. I, I'll, I love the Alamo. I always have. I've been going to this iPick lately because it's easier to get. iPick has a problem. Go, go ahead. What's the I pick is like a luxury. It's too comfy. Here. It is too comfy. I fell like asleep watching Mission Impossible there. Yeah, you can just like lay all the way. They give you a blanket. They give you, you a blanket, blankets? and you can recline like almost flat. So it's just like ah. Oh, and then the, where you're not looking at the screen anymore. Yeah, and then the, like your food is all cozy in that. Yeah, oh, it's, it's like, I told you I, I saw Inception there, and some guy fell asleep watching Inception. <laughs> I yeah. believe a lot of people. You fall will asleep. fall asleep yeah. there. That's I'm why I'm always pointless. on the verge of falling asleep in every movie I go to. So I feel like I that never understood be... that. Why? I've only fallen asleep in one movie. It was a Star Wars movie, and I can't believe Star I did Wars that. Three. Yeah, Star Wars Three. I fell asleep. I in fell asleep in that too. in the UK earlier that day. I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I just get tired earlier these days. So if I go to a movie that starts at nine or ten o'clock, it's like take a little nap. We're getting, what's going on with we're you? Getting like old. End of the year tired. Yeah, I think as a company, no, I'm good. the sun goes down earlier. You're, you want to go to like I'm, Nest? Sun's getting real low. I've been going to bed at nine thirty or ten o'clock these nights. Yeah, I'm doing the same. I I feel like I could do that, but then I just edit stuff and I keep working to the point where it's like I'm just yeah. killing myself. I I, I stayed on my phone so late. I stayed on my phone until like midnight one night, and I had a dream about losing my phone, and it was the scariest dream I've had in years. Do you know what my favorite <laughs> things is? To, and it's sad how often I hold my phone, but to be holding your phone as you fall asleep. And it, you drop the phone from your hand, and it wakes you up, but you realize, oh, that was the moment where I fell asleep. Like, that, in that <laughs> moment. It's an incredibly, I don't know, relaxing feeling. Oh, that's never happened. Next time, just hold your phone. And see how long you can hold your phone. And then as soon up. as you fall asleep, you just drop. It doesn't matter where. Just Aren't hold you going to do it with two balls? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that from a movie? I think you're thinking about the razor's edge with coins. Is that what it was? Do you just fall asleep okay. holding your balls every night? I don't know. <laughs> What was it where it's like you didn't want to fall asleep? Here's my basic review of Justice League. It wasn't day five, day five. surely. Justice League, totally fine. <laughs> I, was I, I make a lot of fun of DC and all the DC movies that have come out. Justice League was totally fine. 40% of Rotten Tomatoes. Just, it was totally fine. Better than Suicide Squad. There's all the, well, I never saw Suicide Squad. Oh my god. I, I started like five times. Anything better than Suicide Squad. What's that? A- anything is better than Suicide Squad. Yeah, I, I, think I, I literally tried to watch it five times. The worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've seen a lot of bad <laughs> movies. My least favorite that I've gone all the way through is probably Batman vs. Superman. That was my least favorite so far. Oh. Pa- I didn't Patrick's think saying that, that they have the image. Speaking oh, God. Of, oh, do they really? Are we, we show are this? Are we really going to show this? Uh. Oh. Uh. That's just like, it's <laughs> just like scratched up. That's oh, like that's nothing. Just, that's just like wear and tear from people. Oh, it's, so it's not liquid? It's no, not paste? It's just, no, that's just like a, a It's just a reflection. What I'm oh, more okay. curious is how did those cuts get in the toilet seat? Like who's who's eating metal and shitting it out? Who's shitting on top of the toilet seat? Guys? That's Nobody. not cuts. That's like goo. Show me a new phone. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> no, that's just that's just that's no that wear is hair. that is moisture taking off the top layer of paint. Yeah, from your butt sweat. Yeah, that's what that is. That's water damage. Very, that's butt water. I, damage. I've only ever glanced it and been like, oh, this anal slime is still here. <laughs> that's <slime>. anal slime. <laughs> I will pay you fifty dollars to rub your hand across that. $50 to we'll get, touch it. We'll get Camp, uh, Patrick's new phone and we'll go into the bathroom. I'll do what it. You're doing. I'll take 50 bucks for that. I'll do 50 bucks. You're not allowed in the boys' bathroom, Barb. I'm you you cannot out. bathroom police me, Barb. You can go in with, a, with an escort. Is that true? Yeah. Can you, you go in with an escort? What? Can I go into the women's restroom with an escort? <laughs> so we just have sure. to hire an escort? <laughs> I don't. No, I, would, I wouldn't touch that for 50 bucks. Go I don't want to go in the women's restroom. I've heard horror stories about the women's restroom. It's awful. From what I understand, like women are are hovering and they're not good at that, and they're terrible. Women at hovering. are fucking disgusting pigs, man. You know, the only people who know that women are disgusting pigs are, are other women. people who have ever lived with a woman. That's the only people who know on. what disgusting <laughs> pigs women are. They just like it's everywhere. They put shit everywhere, every everywhere. It's just like just clothes everywhere, makeup. We have this massive counter in my house, and it's got two sinks in it. I have like. The smidge. I have like this. This yeah. is what I have of, of that. And all my stuff is lined up on yeah. that. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather have that than just nothing? An empty gap where a woman used to be because you got mingy about her taking over your counter. Yo, That's you the wanna, way I have to look Do you want to talk about it? No. So you're not allowed to speak against Meg's habits? Otherwise well, I mean, obviously it's like, come on, look at this. And then it's like, yeah, it's better that it's there than it, you know, being completely empty there. Are you okay? Are you abused at home? What's no, going on? <laughs> if you complain about what you it's, want out of life, are you told great. to shut up? That's why it's great being a single woman because you don't miss anything. <laughs> it's just all still your own shit. <laughs> it is. One of the things nice about, 
You never lived with anybody, though, have you? I've never lived with anybody, no. See, that's the exact opposite. Most, I mean, I have almost never lived alone. I went from college dorm to living with Matt, which is not really the same thing, roommate, but then having a living girlfriend and then married for a long time. Yeah. Did Notice. Matt take up a wheel counter? Uh, no. Matt, <laughs> he just, it's just other people's food in the fridge. It's just all gross. Yeah. And it's like the shit that other people eat. And then they cook whatever they cook, and it's always terrible, <laughs> you know? I like being able to dictate my own fridge space. Like, Matt would make crackers with steak. Oh, what does that mean? What? It's like he takes steak and crackers. He would take like ground beef and he'd make like a ground beef patty, and then he'd mash up crackers. Okay, and put that on the outside, then is fry that, that whole thing. Is that a southern thing? I don't know what it was. Yeah, he'd also would eat mayonnaise sandwiches. Just mayonnaise. That is ridiculous. I <laughs> joked about that once on the podcast. I didn't realize people actually did that. Uh, in his defense, it's two slices of bread, mayonnaise on both, a slice of tomato, and then pepper. Oh, well, there's stuff that's in there. That's a tomato sandwich, though. Tomato sandwich. Okay. Is that a thing? That's, 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 that's not a, that's not a no, mayo sandwich. No. Mayo sandwich is only mayo. Well, it's also bread. That's like being like, I watch the dude eat ketchup. I mean, he did dip fries in him, The sandwich part is it's the not, bread. A tomato sandwich is not a thing. Nobody eats a tomato sandwich. Sure they do. You never had a cheese and tomato sandwich? You, okay, you yeah. added cheese. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> you're adding stuff here. Have you never had a bacon, lettuce, and tomato and mayonnaise <laughs> sandwich? <laughs> With a burger on there, maybe? That's like, weird. By by omitting the tomato from the story, you made it really weird. It's me. It's a mayonnaise sandwich. It's, it's not mostly mayonnaise, mayonnaise sandwich. It's mostly mayonnaise. It's two thirds not mayonnaise. Well, what what is the sandwich? Is it the is it the condiment or whatever is filling it? It's easier to make fun of them if I say you did mayonnaise yeah, sandwich. Yeah, I'm sure. with you. It's a mayonnaise sandwich. Get with the program. Wait, if it was mustard and tomato, would you call it a mustard? Hey, sandwich? can I get another? Can I can we give me another water because Barbara spilled my water in the pre-show? <laughs> oh, uh, all saw, over the place. So what you, are you mad about? You were talking about Justice about? League. Yeah, and um. You know, Austin Comic Con was this past weekend, and they had Jason Momoa in town for that. And I saw the most dismissive local news <clears throat> coverage really? of that event uh, on Friday. One of the local stations, I guess, was doing a, a promo for that event. And they were like, yeah, uh, there's some B-roll of Jason Momoa playing. They're like, uh, Jason Momoa is going to be here. I don't know. My producer tells me it's kind of a big deal. Um, and then they cut to B-roll of Nichelle Nichols. And the anchor was like, hey, uh, you recognize her? Uh, she was in Star Trek. Uh, she'll, be she'll be there, too. Uh, anyway, it's this weekend. Damn. I was like, what the Fucking fuck asshole. is that? She's like, an icon. It's right. I was like, that was at the absolute. Is it someone trying to play it cool? Like, they actually, do you know who these people are? It, it seemed like he, the, the whole segment, he was just like dismissive of like, oh, just, just stupid nerds or like dismissive of geek culture in uh, general. Man. Like, what a fucking asshole. You know who's going to replace him at his job? A nerd. And it's going to be awesome. <laughs> yep. So I hope that nerd's name is shit. Max Hedrum. So... Justice League, everything that's wrong with Justice League, you could probably figure out because it's everything that's wrong with it anyway. The one thing that I didn't like that I think a lot of people are going to like is I didn't like the Flash character. He's like, who's the, who's the autistic guy from uh, Big Bang Theory? Sheldon? Yes. It's basically that, but a superhero version of that guy, okay. that character. And you like, can't like relate it? to other people, you know, what's that? What was the biggest criticism then of the movie? Well, I think, I think you know, just like in general, the way the story, looks, like the plot was a little bit thin. I got to say this. I'm not looking forward to the Aquaman movie. And I was really looking forward to seeing Jason Momoa as Aquaman. And I am now like, I can't imagine how bad that Aquaman movie is. Luckily, I'm very bad at predicting how these superhero movies do. Because I also thought like Guardians of the Galaxy was going to be a train wreck yeah. as well. I was with you on that one. Yeah. and uh, <laughs> But man, it was just, this was for different reasons. I didn't think people were going to go out of their way to watch a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Because I didn't think anybody was familiar with that comic. Turns out it didn't matter. Uh, People do know Aquaman. It's kind of a joke character, but this it, all the stuff with him was just. I think all bad. people know about Aquaman is like from the the was it the Justice League Super cartoon Friends? Or Super Friends from yeah. like the seventies. Like that's all I know about Aquaman. He wore like orange and green, What's and he talks to fish. What's his superpower? He talks to fish. Well, he can swim super fast. I like and he's Super Momoa. strong. He can breathe underwater. <laughs> yeah, he's underwater Superman. It's like the only thing right. that sells it for me is Jason Momoa. Yeah, no, he's good looking. Good he's dude. Great. Well, I mean, do you think a lot of people are banking on the fact that he was in Game of Thrones and that people are going to want to see it because of that? I don't think how many people remember him from Game of Thrones because he was only in the first season for like half the Wait, season. So if he's like underwater Superman, can't Superman go underwater and not breathe? Okay, that's the other problem. Can he talk right. to a fish, that's the other though. major problem is Superman is clearly <clears throat> way overpowered. Right. Like they, they assemble this whole team and basically they just need Superman. That's it. They really don't need anybody else on the team. Sure. You know, well, except and without spoiling watch. anything that happens in the movie, it's like, well, if they had Superman in the situation, everything would be fine. And turns out that's right. So, uh. <laughs> like, you should never have a team no, of superheroes. You should never have a team of superheroes where somebody's specialty is some power, and there's somebody else on the team who has that power but better. 
right. or it's, a little bit a little bit better. Else. It's, yeah. It's kind of like when the first Matrix came out. That was the concern you had before they even announced the sequels was you can't continue that story once you have a character who can do everything. Right. But the rules don't apply. It's like, well, what do you where do you where do you go from there? It's like you've already got a godlike character. Well, you just bring another god in, right? That's what they did. No, you remove him from his element, which is what they did in the Matrix. Remember they put him like in that weird subway prison thing? Uh, and uh, it's like he couldn't really interact with the Matrix, and he was just kind of gone, and they had to rescue him. Got to admit, I never really understood all that. And then he had to meet yeah. with, was it the director? The architect? The architect, he, he, he that was, was the it. the way station. Right. With the, the family with the little girl they were trying to get out of there. Was the architect a real man? No. I didn't no, see he any was the other. counterpart to the Oracle. Okay. I think they were yeah. like AI that designed the Matrix, because there was no human that made the Matrix. Right. AI were all sentient by that point in time. Because I didn't see any, like, I don't know, old food wrappers in there or anything. So, speaking of... Can, can, this is a great segue to my friend who's here. What, okay, uh, what, are, we, what are you going to talk about? What's he doing, Adderid? Speaking of great content... We'll come back and we'll talk you, about my friend after you can tell me... Speaking of great Adderid. content that you can catch up on, I want to remind everyone, this episode of the Receipt Podcast is brought to you by Boomerang. Boomerang is a subscription video streaming service offering a massive library of timeless cartoons and original animated series... Start your adventure today with Johnny Quest. Join Johnny and his loyal dog, Bandit, on an action-packed journey across the globe as they discover strange scientific mysteries and face fearsome foes. You can find Boomerang on the web, mobile, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, and Chromecast for only $4.99 a month or a discounted rate at $39.99 a year. Visit boomerang.com slash promo. Use promo code ROOSTER to start your 30-day free trial today. That's boomerang.com slash promo, promo code ROOSTER. I've been binging a lot of Tom and Jerry on Boomerang lately. Love that series. Just go check it out. Um, How right. is it? Does it hold up? Yeah, it's classic. I mean... How could it not? It's, it was uh, old great. as hell when it, you were a baby. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's just... It's, 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 it's as funny as you remember it. But it's funny because, like, I always think about that, too. He, Gavin's exactly right. Watching stuff like Tom and Jerry. I watched Little Rascals. I watched Three Stooges. That shit was, like, from the 20s and the 30s. Right. And I was watching that stuff when I was growing up in the 80s. But now, if somebody watched something, an 80s cartoon today, that would feel really weird, you know, yeah. that they would back that far to watch something. Well, I feel like some of that old stuff, like if you go back far enough, it's um, a lot of the humor, a lot of the, the storytelling is very like, like archetypes, right? Like it's not rooted in any specific period of time. It's you hit someone with a pie in the face. That's going to be funny 100 years ago. It's going to be funny 100 years in the future. Right? <laughs> when did The Simpsons start? Or like that big poof with the, the powder. Simpsons was late 80s, right? 89. 89. So I mean, that's technically a cartoon from the 80s. Yeah, but it's still running. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but it's still running. And yeah. also, nobody's going back to watch early. Oh, it's I, I literally, am. if I met somebody who say, hey, I'm starting The Simpsons this week, <laughs> I would be. Uh, Wait, I would 25 be, years to catch up. Yeah, on. where do you start The Simpsons these days? Like, I have no season idea. eight? I think you just watch it randomly. What's like, best of clips, right? I mean, yeah. that's. I mean, it's, it's so much stuff to consume. It's like, what is Simpsons at now? 28 years? 29? Uh, uh, it must 28, be 28. Yeah. yeah. You God, and I would crazy. watch it in our office when we shared an office. Yeah, we just leave it on t- TV all day. Just yeah. put it like on random. Are you getting stoked about the World Cup? Yeah. Is that coming up? Next year. Next we year. watched that in our office too together. Yeah. That's what made me think of it, Holy Barbara. Fuck, that was four years Italy ago. Italy didn't Three. make it. Three years ago. Y- U.S. didn't make it either. Well, that's no surprise there. Yeah, that's a big surprise. Take it fucking easy, dude. Well, we that, didn't make it? UK didn't make it? Well, Canada. England? Did we make Italy. it? Italy. Italy. Italy didn't make it. Really? That's embarrassing. Well, yeah, because they're usually a great team. Usually. I mean, U.S. is a terrible team. They, they, it's been a long time since they failed to qualify, though. See, yeah, U.S. is like is the Superman these... of the Sports <laughs> Justice League. All of our powers are incredible, but we're not good at any particular thing. That's the way it should work, because that gives us balance. You take them out of their element and make them play football. Superman's Funny. the best at everything. He's not the best at catching a kryptonite bullet. That is true. In Batman vs. Superman, why did they make him carry the kryptonite? It doesn't make any sense. Who did? They give him the kryptonite movie. spear. It's like, what? Why don't you give it to Wonder Woman? She can throw it. Why don't you give it to Batman? He'll put it in a gun and shoot it at the the enemy. Why does Superman have to fucking fly with it? Conflict. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> anyway, you said you had a perfect segue. Yeah, well, I was going to say this this uh, Sheldon approach to Flash. I get also it's in line. Ashley was telling me it's in line with the television show. It's not autistic, though. I just didn't like it. Well, like, like high-functioning Asperger's. It definitely comes across that way to me, you know, which I think is really interesting that we, sh- we could have a character who's somewhere on the autism spectrum. I think that's really interesting because I think a lot of people uh, could relate to that for lack of a better term. Um, but I think there's better ways to do it than making it actually like this like quirky 
unable to fit in butt of the joke always character, which is what the Flash turned into. Actually, there's another super antisocial character uh, in Justice League that I thought was going to be garbage, which is Cyborg. Mm. It's great. Like everything with Cyborg, I thought was totally fine. And great. Should I watch this movie in theaters or should I watch it on a plane? You should go see Justice League, dude. It was I, it was I enjoyed it. I'll go. With you. I'm, I'm I'm in the minority, yeah. but hey, uh, DC. I if you want you. another uh, socially Sorry, awkward, no, no. standoffish person for your movie, uh, just give me a call. I'll, I swear I'll like the movie if I'm in it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what would your power be? Uh, my oh, I'd have my acid sweat hands. <laughs> Like, oh, no, we're trapped. They're behind kryptonite bars. Superman can't bend them. Don't you're, worry. First job, just you staying there in for two five years. years, I will. <laughs> Can you do me a favor it. and you make your first job melting off the anal slime in the soundcheck bathroom? <laughs> That's plastic. I can't do plastic. It's just metal. You can't? Uh, no. You could probably do plastic if you put your mind to it. I've, it takes double I've never melted time. plastic. Yet. Hmm. You've never melted metal. I have. Metal, 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 metal. <laughs> okay, if I gave you a metal straw, how how long before you were It would it? take a long time. Like, just a couple of years. Yeah. Okay. Like the the way the reason I used to, I knew it was because when I would play so much World of Warcraft and I would leave my hands on my keyboard, it would eat through the metal of my MacBook. And you're sure it's not just friction based? No, because no one else ever has that. What did Apple say? It was about like pock marks. Did Apple look at it and be like, "Man, you gotta"? No, I ended up putting one of those covers, a plastic <laughs> cover, over it. People on Twitter were very upset at my hair sticking out of my hat, so I fixed that. I liked it. It's it's fixed now. You seem pretty nice and bald. Hung up on your hair right now, but I think it's fine. What's wrong with it? No, I'm just saying people on Twitter were complaining at me with my but hair. But they're not the boss you. To what Twitter says about they're your not, hair? They're, they're not complaining using hashtag just, I'm, just, I'm just responding to the audience's feedback. That's all I'm doing. This is someone, a two-way conversation. Someone on on Twitter said my legs were orange. Are you like? They <laughs> are orange. What do you mean they're orange? There's a skin. Well, oh, you're that, you're kind of orange. Oh, yeah. these lights are orange. Maybe yeah, there's a, there's an orange light point right here. It's slightly warmer. Very tan. <laughs> your legs look so orange. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> yeah, like yeah. someone's put a bloody umpa lumpa light on my legs. <laughs> what are you worried about, Gavin? Why are you so in your legs? I can't wait for this patch of hair to grow back. It's so itchy, like every day. <laughs> Why is it itchy? You waxed it. Yeah. I thought it was only itchy if you uh, shave it. Bloody oompa loompa <laughs> Oh, God. All right. So, by the way, I want to point out that I am drinking water. I have a new commitment where I'm not going to drink on camera anymore. Okay. Just because I just I, – there's so much drinking at our company on mic or on camera. It's just like I'm just – like I've got a new commitment to drink twice as much then. I'll make up for you. See, but you went through a period where you weren't drinking on mic either. Because yeah, because it was against the rules. Still against the rules. It's still against the rules. No it's against the rules. Gus is a pushover. So you're, why you're like the person who we recycles said... on behalf of everyone else who doesn't recycle. No, who doesn't recycle? I'm just saying, like it, for like the people who go above and beyond. Like, do you really not recycle? Gus races. If it's hand. easy, I'll do it. I'm not going out of my way to do it. What do you mean? What, okay, like, what do you I'm do not picking that? anybody else's recycling out of trash. If that's what you. Mean. But there are the people who do that. Yeah, there are. And this yeah. is the equivalent. You get an Amazon there delivery. Are, yeah. What happens with the box? Um, I'll put it in the recycling, but once the recycling fills up, it goes in the trash. Hmm. I have questions about the shirt you're wearing, Gus. I have so many questions about it. It's, it says Rooster Teeth. I know that. I still have oh. questions about it, though. It's gray. Rooster's not spelled with two R's. What? I have okay. questions. I, I, didn't, I didn't design this shirt. I don't it's know very if I nice. Can, I, I, can like it. I, I like it. Oh, like look, it. it's, it's actually a hoodie. It's a lightweight hoodie. It looks like Pooster Teeth. No, it doesn't. Oh, actually, so it does, does. kind of. Yeah. Why'd you say that? <laughs> Why'd you say that? That's all I can see. Way to ruin it. <laughs> it's like your B versus shirt. <laughs> can we? Uh, yeah, that's that's a P. For no, sure. it's an R. No, it, looks, it, it clearly says rooster. Clearly, clearly. <laughs> the longer you look at it, the less it does. So you have to know what it means. All right. So my buddy uh, Scott is here. We have talked about is Gus. We were Stunt discussing this. Before the podcast, mm-hmm. right. this would have to be if people remember Scott, they'd have to be a hardcore yeah. podcast listener. We've 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 told you mentioned some Scott. Scott stories every now and then, but it's it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. it's been a while. Usually, uh, Scott's a very intelligent dude. I've known Scott for how long? Have I known you, Scott? Uh, since nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. So twenty seven <laughs> years. You got me beat wow. by a few years. Is that impossible. Yeah. You were right behind. <laughs> yeah. So Scott's a very smart dude. Got an engineering degree. Engineer? What is your degree? Mathematics. Mathematics. Oh, that's smart. That's a smart degree. Right? Smart stuff. Very smart. But uh, he believes in some weird. What's shit. five times seven? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna take you on. I'm gonna take you on a tour of Scott's weird conspiracy theories over the years. Here, Gus. Okay. See if you can remember these. Scott was the guy who, in 2006, was talking about the Mayan apocalypse that was going to happen in 2012. Okay. He was well ahead of the curve on that. He was the guy who. <laughs> 
told us that there was a 10th planet in the solar system. I was about to ask if that was you. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. You told me about that and kept that thing going for a while. I did not. I didn't. You had to name it. You were the, what, the name of guy. It? Shut the hell What's up. the name of it? You know it. I just said it. What is it? It's like Nibiru or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I, no, okay. Do Scott, I get to defend myself or are you just going to keep going? No, no, no. That, uh, people need to know. That's the, that's the theory that there's this rogue planet that every yeah. now, every several thousand years comes through the solar system and destroys every planet. Oh, Pluto. Let me be very clear. Can I, do I get to defend myself yeah, for, go 30, for, sure, for if you want seconds? To. All right. <laughs> there's a fine line between being aware and acknowledging <laughs> such crazy stories than there is about sending them out there. What mm -hmm. side of the line are you on? Would you say on a regular basis? Are you on this side of the line or are you on the crazy side of the line? I'm on your side of the line. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish, I wish you'd never told me about Nibiru because every now and then I think like, look, what if it's actually out there? Look, what if it's actually coming? And as far as the Mayan thing goes, that was more on the the social psychosis of the masses. I was more concerned with the, everybody else going nuts and making it come true, making something crazy That's happen fair. based on all the crap that was going on. Oh, because the Mayan stuff. Not the calendar itself. I didn't care about that. But you thought it would reach a fever pitch and people would like – Sure. Call I mean, people, look, the world's like a crazy place. Apocalypse people are looking for a, a reason to – for the, you know things to reset and start all over and the apocalypse and all that. And they're like – I'm like, if you have enough people thinking crazy stuff – they can make it happen. You know, self-fulfilled prophecy type stuff. Well, it's like when that gas shortage happened because people thought there would be one. That, that happened in Austin. Yeah. yeah. Just, just uh, during Hurricane Harvey. Exactly. Exactly yeah. the same thing. We didn't even get hit by Hurricane Harvey, really. We and, got a lot of rain. It was just it. nonstop lines of gas stations for like a week. All right. He's gonna, Gus, he's going to deny this one, oh, but I think you'll remember it. So Scott and I had a website called Longhorn Nation mm -hmm. for a while. I remember it. And... Uh, it was a, a sports site based on the community software that we used to run Rooster Teeth. And uh, we were doing what we could to promote it. It just never really took off um, as much as we tried. But it did have like, what, like five to 10,000 people who were there on a regular basis. Sure. Right? People. There was a point in time when there was some, like, uh, we were trying to promote it. We were doing lots of stuff. We even flew, like, banners on planes over mm -hmm. stadiums and stuff. I remember that guy. I forgot yeah. about that. And yeah. then there was a controversy, I think, that <laughs> happened with. Uh, something in the the placement, the seeds for who was going to the national championship. There's a lot of controversy about that into college football. And uh, Scott said, he just, we were talking about something. He goes, <sighs> I go what? He goes, I just I can't believe that Obama hasn't mentioned us. What? I said what? And he goes, yeah, I just oh. like there's so much controversy about. He said, I can feel him staring at me. <laughs> there's so much controversy about college. Football. Why wouldn't Why wouldn't President Obama have mentioned our website yet? Why wouldn't that happen? And I was like. Do you hear how insane what you're saying okay. sounds right this, now? This is how people get reputations. Have, <laughs> you're right. I am going to deny that only because I don't recall it. I've said some crazy shit, but if you can. I do remember that story. I, 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 re I remember it, this. If you tell it enough times, it becomes part of the, part of the <laughs> It probably is. <laughs> you might be right there. But I, in your defense, Scott, the last one I have here on Scott's tour de force of conspiracy theories over the years was actually one that we found out was true, which was Scott was telling me all about FEMA, how they had fields of coffins in Louisiana, like millions of coffins ready to go in case of a natural disaster and they had to bury millions of people. And we were, I was like, he's fucking crazy that they had the government has coffins out in this field and they're storing them in case of calamity. We looked it up and there's YouTube videos of people walking around these coffin filled like fields. Collapsible plastic ones, right? Yeah, not just that, but there was a, a size D draft. If you're an engineer, you know what drafting uh, engineering drawings look like. And it actually someone found was able to find that as well. What does that mean? Of the coffins? Of the coffins, yeah. Is that and plastic? Yeah, they're yeah. they look like big plastic. tubs. Almost. Human Tupperware? You pretty much human Tupperware. That's awesome. But they can, obviously, when they're empty, they can stack them, and it's just rows of these things. Yeah. And you, burning. you bring up an interesting point there. What's that? Things are conspiracy theories when only a handful of people know it and try to – that's how stuff – It's people get set in their ways, and they're like they either choose not to investigate any further or they're so dead set in their ways that they – Anything that does not align with their way of thinking, they just discount it. I so love how I think crazy that term you sound right now. You sound so <laughs> insane right now. I think that term gets thrown around. Scott, right. I it's, like, you. it's like trying to convince a Trump supporter that he sucks. Do you believe in lizard people? No. Okay. Yeah, that would be a better way to run this. Why don't you? Why don't you bring up a topic and see where I might stand? Well, what's, you your, what's, your the favorite, what's your favorite conspiracy theory? <laughs> I, I don't. I <laughs> do don't. you think we landed on the moon? Of course. Okay. Is we'll there make, is there, not, you're asking the wrong question. Why haven't we been back in 45 years? Why, Scott, why haven't we been back to the moon in 45 years? And, and we, we landed 12 men on the moon from 1968 to 1972, and we haven't been back in 45 years. That's the question you should Maybe be asking. Maybe they saking. saw something they didn't want to go back to see. Well, 
You're, we're talking to Elon <laughs> Musk and people like that are talking about sending people to Mars. Really? Stage five the closest bathroom. that gets to us is 30 mi- million miles. If you're going to learn how to live on another celestial logic, why wouldn't you do it on one that's 240,000 miles away? I, I hate to say it, but I've, I've, I've been saying that too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and Gus, I mean, this is how he gets you, though. This is how I've known him for 27 <laughs> years. <laughs> you apply he logic draws you in it. with logic. Yeah. It's just an <laughs> logic. It's just an airless rock, though. Like, what more can be done on the moon? You can say okay. the same thing Look, about Mars. Gavin, Gavin, if you're going to attempt to go to Mars, which is close as it gets to us in 25 months, is 30 million miles away, why wouldn't you practice on the moon where you can save people, bring supplies? It's so much easier to test. Why are we trying to go to Mars when yeah, we haven't like figured out to live on the moon yet? What happened to your voice, by the way? You sound like you've been smoking eight packs a day. What's going on? I don't smoke. Yeah, I know, but you sound that. like it. You were yelling in traffic the whole way here? I, I, we probably had a football theory. game that we won, actually, finally. Oh, is that what happened? UT uh, won? Yeah. Who did we beat? Can you believe that? Who did we beat? We beat West, West Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. yeah. So Scott was there when I ran out on the field, so he has stuff on me, oh, too. Oh, the uh, OU game. He got tackled by the, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It yeah, lets me live that down. So anyway, so the reason I thought I had to bring Scott in was he just texted me out of the clear blue sky the other day. Oh, shit. And I was reading over the text, and I was trying to make heads or tails of this text. I thought, <laughs> I just said, just please come in and come on the podcast and explain to me what the fuck you mean by this. <laughs> so he just wrote me. Uh, da, 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 da. He wrote, hey, uh, Burns, are you there? Hey, Burns, I'm putting together an abstract, Burns. <laughs> Could use the old Burns creativity and monetization skills. Here's the deal. I know a few are working hard to move consciousness to a computer, but how many questions would it take to move enough information that my person would be uploaded to a CPU and pass the Turing test? Obviously, the abstract that I'm working on comes after the research is complete. Uh, I guess what I'm doing now is an outline or summary of what I'd like the study to be about. <laughs> like, what? First of all, what is this? I think that's and really interesting. Why would I know? Very interesting question. But why well, would I know any of this stuff? Here's the problem I'm dealing with. I also have to deal with a guy that's probably getting 78 tweets every five minutes, <laughs> has very little time to look at my stuff, so I have to sum it up in less than two minutes or it's not going to get answered. And you got to keep repeating his name. That's, that's well, it burns. I didn't burns. realize I did that. I started <laughs> typing things it's 78 tweets every minute, so how dare why you? Why did you think Bernie would know the answer to that question? Not an answer, but... It, he would probably have some insight on it. Does, does anybody watch Black Mirror, the yeah. show Black Mirror? Mm-hmm, of course. Okay, are you familiar with the show? Sci-fi show. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, the John Hamm Christmas special. So yeah. think. Okay, what about the one he'll be back where the woman, her husband dies in the car crash. She realizes he's pregnant and she uploads mm-hmm. from his social media to thing and he basically lives and it goes downhill when they get a body for him. Okay, so this is the culmination and ins- inspiration of those two things. A question from my girlfriend and the fact that... Uh, Brag about having a girlfriend, by the way. Yeah. Brag about it. Well, <laughs> Bring it up on air. Uh, you. Well, that's something I'm sorry. But, <laughs> no, but, it's, it's, I, I agree. He's good to like bounce shit absolutely. like that Absolutely. I mean, sure. all of you are. But I mean, okay, so look. Do you think I'm smarter no, I, I, over time or less smart over time working at this job? <laughs> You're probably going downhill. But. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> I think so too. I think I'm losing a step. But but it doesn't change the fact that at one point your, your creativeness was off the charts, and that's why you're sitting here today doing <laughs> in this your crap. prime. <laughs> one point in your prime, you're phenomenal. Not that's super personal, real fast there. Yeah. <laughs> now, well, that, the creativity took a hit there, huh? In the process, oh, oh, look, I was I'm smart and creative. Five minutes yeah. ago, so that's so why you stopped drinking. <laughs> that's why I stopped drinking. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get my mojo back. <laughs> so what are you going to do? You're going to upload your consciousness look, to a computer? Look, no, that can't be done. I'm saying you could do it on the cheap. How many questions would you have to ask? Like, uh, there's certain undeniable things that are Scott. I'm left-handed. I'm five foot eleven. I have asthma. Those are undeniables. Then there's things that only you and I know, or me and my girlfriend know, me and Ross know. Okay. Then there's questions that uh, I mean, how many questions would have to be asked before there was enough information on a computer where you or somebody else would ask it a question and wouldn't know the difference between the AI or me? A, a billion. Exactly. It's, it's like okay, so my, qu- my point is, like all the variables I don't have much of life, to do. Basically. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe. That, that form your consciousness. Also, well, now, the point is, when, once you start asking probing questions like, what are your opinions on this? What are your opinions on that? Then you can start uh, – I don't know, putting together other ideas that when a random question comes in, it can actually formulate it based on how answers would you, you've given in the past. How, how would you do it on a baby? How would you what? How would you put a baby in a computer? Well, I don't, I don't know if that would be worth your time. You go gaga and it goes goo-goo. <laughs> Sorry, you babies. Any... <laughs> you're, 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 yeah. you're I wonder how many, how many – so it makes me wonder, how many questions could I answer off the top of my head? Like – how do you measure the amount of knowledge that's well, in a typical human brain at any given moment? You guys never did the Akinator thing? It's like 20 questions before it figures out who you're no. talking about. Yeah, you're talking, thing, right? They can figure out your cat. Barb's right. You're talking thousands, Bill- millions, billions. tens of billions, tens of millions. Yeah. And it would never stop. And let's be honest. I have, I don't have that much 
to do, playing golf, that kind of stuff, I'll answer a question. I can answer a thousand questions a day. At what point do you have enough information where somebody cannot tell the difference? Well, here's the weird thing about it to me is that you say they upload your consciousness to a computer. Let's say that technology exists and just gra- grabbed everything. It seems like the computer would have a better way to access memories and things like that than you would. The, if you went through and asked me these questions, I would not be able to answer a lot of those questions myself. But if you uploaded my consciousness to a computer, it would be able to answer some of these questions. Like, what I do on a specific date. Well, you know, computers or, can sequence DNA without you out, out saying a word. And it can know a lot about you, can't it? I well, guess. But how, but the, the, I guess. I mean, for basic personality. That's you like know? knowing your the hardware traits. but not knowing the software. Well, there's also a lot, like, a lot of things that people wouldn't necessarily ask questions of experiences you've had on your own that you would never talk about publicly. Yeah, like the that time. Was Go ahead. Away. Tell us one. Tell us one. Give us a secret. Why the barf. fuck would I do that? Give us one. Just so the computer would know that it's you and not some other uh, blonde the, Canadian. The first time I masturbated was with a teddy bear. Really? <laughs> That's called Ambush Paddington, I think. Yeah. Not sure. Like a but mutual yeah. thing? You watched him masturbate and you I did, did it at the same yeah. time? Is that, that what's happening? Yeah, it's like a Toy Story situation. <laughs> you got the wrong Teddy Ruxpin. Like, delivered. <laughs> <laughs> you got the adult one and it taught you how to do like it. Like shit like that, though. Like, what did you, you hump? You humped the. the I'm not like, going into this okay. shit right now. Did you right. throw it away afterwards? Open. Did you at least wash it? By the way, kudos to Bar for stepping up with that. Yeah, she stepped yeah, up. Yeah. Good. Was it the man. hard Scott, nose? you're off the hook. There's a 10th planet. It we want to talk about Bar for humping the teddy bear. It was like the eye of the teddy bear. It wasn't the eye. Okay. It was just firm part of the teddy bear. Got the tongue? It. Was the tongue sticking out? So, teddy bears do not have tongues! Teddy bears do not have tongues! What you the fuck eaten is out wrong by a plush with you? Teddy bear? No! Is this bear still in your home? No! Do other I think it is. Which home? It's oh. in Canada, right? It is. No, I, don't, I think we gave it away. You oh, gave oh, it away? Oh. You can't just second hand that! This bear smells funny. Got <laughs> clunch juice on Somebody's it. Somebody's gonna upload it into a computer with all your DNA. <laughs> There's on it. anal slime it's on got it. Anal slime and clunch juice. All right, so Scott, when? How long before do you think the technology exists for we can what? we can go with your business plan and upload ourselves into computers? Well, well, that's the point. I mean, there's already people way smarter that's than us point. that are trying to do that. I'm saying we don't have to do the consciousness thing. I'm just thinking, can you Maybe upload enough? Inf- can you upload enough information about somebody to where? The Turing test can be passed by an average person. Like, I, and what she's talking about is there will have to be s- private questions that are not known by anybody else. That when they ask them, only you two share that. You'll ha- that'll have to be verified. There's, there's all sorts of steps to it. I mean, look, dude, it's this, in the beginning phases. I texted you erroneously <laughs> when I just thought of it. I probably should have laid out a little more. So, what's the final goal with this? Like, what would be the well, end game? It came up. Uh, well, I'll tell you how it came up, Gavin. Here's here's how it came up. My. Uh, Girlfriend, we you know, had been drinking, and she said something really kind of off-putting. She said something like, I hope when one of us dies, I'm the one that goes first. Oh. And she goes, because I don't want to live without you. And I was like, oh, that's kind of sweet, and that's also kind of nuts at the same time. Kind of selfish. And what, and what I'm thinking is the first thing I thought of was that Black Mirror episode where the guy takes his social media. The, the uh, technology takes this guy's social media. Oh, I've seen that. And all that stuff, yeah. and they upload it so that he can be with his wife. And then it all goes downhill, and they're like, hey, you might be ready for the next level of our uh, offerings, and we'll send you a body, and you can put that <laughs> yeah. in. So now you can actually touch and feel. And that's when it went downhill because the guy couldn't behave. The mannerisms were all wrong, and she was like, you're not my husband get away. But what I'm saying is how, how far would you have to go in order to make yourself at least come at a comforting level on a computer to someone else that misses you? That's how it came up. Oh, like a comforting level. Like sure. a simulation. Yeah. A good enough simulation. It's like Uncanny Valley, but for feels. Well, to I, me, still, the whole... I still think it had to be a lot of questions. Lot, yeah, but don't you feel like the whole purpose of this technology, if we make it, is to save people's lives essentially sure. they can upload their consciousness but then is it really you well no that's i mean that's not really saving someone's life that's that, that's this more is not for what the, this is replicating right, this is more for life. like the people who are still alive that's weird though i wouldn't want people doing that i feel me. like it would never be perfect because there are things that you don't notice about your partner that they might do that you wouldn't ever ask them like for, for example if i like sometimes click my knuckles while i'm watching a movie i feel like if i stopped doing that no, you wouldn't notice that i'd stop doing it but you wouldn't notice that i do do that either so how would you do do so how would the computer do, know to do. ask that and there'd be stuff just lost in the fact that there's well, subconscious stuff that nobody notices but it'd be weird if it wasn't well there. you're right. right there there are going to be some holes the idea is how how many questions need to be asked or how much data needs to be intuitive to where that gap gets smaller and smaller from seven percent down to five down yeah, to two to like possible. and nobody can tell yeah i think i looked a billion seconds is over 31 years so even if you answered a question a second non-stop 24 hours a day it would take over 31 years to get through a billion if you can only get I'm one person. A billion. You get them back point. in a simulation. Who's the person you're investing in? Oh, Where am I in your list? Like twenty? 
Oh, come on. What if I was like an add-on? Like I was well, gonna, I want... what, what my list was going to start with like Isaac Newton, Einstein, and all that yeah. kind of shit. So where do you where are you on that list? Twenty. <laughs> Number twenty. Twenty sure. pretty high. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, you're up there because you're up there because you're a buddy, and I know you. All these other smart jerkwads, I don't know. So <laughs> you gain you gain value there. For who, sure. who would you do? Who would you would you you would you do Meg? How, yeah. How many have I got? Y'all one. Someone who's yeah currently with us. Or? Yeah. Stephen Colbert. I'd do Joe the Cat. Um. I miss him. So at first, yeah. I thought you meant people who had already passed. No, not necessarily. Just like who would you like of the, over the course of your life? Like, obviously, up to this point. I mean, I was gonna say Monty. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, Gus, who would you do? Definitely my wife. Yeah, yeah. Preserve. No would way. you really want that though? Would you really want like this? Would you really want like the simulation of your so, wife? I'm someone who doesn't really get along with anybody. Yes, we know. <laughs> get so, along with us. So, uh, <laughs> having found someone that I can get along with, I think uh, you want. I would want to keep a hold of that somehow. But would she want you? Maybe not as a simulation. And I would not be. I would not be offended. Yeah. I feel like you definitely can do Monty. There's no way a computer would get that right. I know, it's impossible. It's the impossible. algorithm and the projections would never figure that f- figure him out at all. Mm-hmm. You have to network like 50 DDR machines together <laughs> to, to, Pump get, it up. to get it right. Um, Gus, on a scale one to ten. One is you don't care about them at all. Ten, they're the most important person in the world, whatever to you. Scale of one ten, likability. How much do you like us? Like, how much do you like Gavin? Scale of one ten. Why are we grouping us together, by the way? I'm not. not. I'm saying we're Gavin starting with you. Okay, okay. You're probably all the same. Yeah, probably, right? You're probably all sevens. Seven? Oh, bloody yeah. Not I'm bad. In, that's not bad at all. That's not bad. Even me? Yeah. Do you think you'd be higher? No, I thought it'd be lower. Oh. Because you, you, well, Bethany's lower. No, she's higher, I would think. No, she's lower. I'm yeah, she's her, lower. I've known her as long. But you call Gus ugly like every week. No, I don't. I called him. I no. <laughs> there was one week where I made a joke about it. it'd be funny if his middle name was ugly. <laughs> yeah, what a great joke. <laughs> <laughs> Solid joke, dude. All right, Scott. Before we let you go, anything else we should be have our eyes open for? Any any things about the world that you've seen that the rest of us haven't? No, no, no. Keep on with the uh, the uh, dirty ass stains and the <laughs> toilets and stuff like that. that Are you criticizing my Not work? At all. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> no, all no. right, Scott, everybody. Yeah. We'll bring you Pleasure. back next time there's a major like calamity or apocalypse looming. We'll, uh, I appreciate we'll that. I Scott's. believe everything Come you say. <laughs> and next time there's an outbreak of some disease like SARS. Or I'm, I'm oh, SARS. SARS. That Where's so SARS scary? go? It, I don't, that's a good question. Where, where did SARS go? You don't know. Scott. What did, what where all the that, dogs that, that, went he's shaking his head but he's, he could be saying I'm not going to tell you no, no idea know. I was really that like when the SARS outbreak happened that's when I had just moved to Puerto Rico mm-hmm. and I was actually glad I was like okay I live on an island yeah there's not as many people around like this is this is good this is a good place to be but also you're trapped on an island it's true but you're there's less people alright yeah okay. the vector to it's, come in is Ebola listen. was big for a bit as well Again. I think the Ebola, one of the Ebola outbreaks is when the FEMA coffin thing came up. That's when Scott was mentioning it for the first time. Hmm. I feel like it was before that. Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of Ebola outbreaks. There's been a few of them. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't the one in the U.S. That one was really weird when the Ebola made it to Dallas. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, yeah. That was weird. That was weird. I was kind of freaked out about that. They lived there, didn't they? Uh, the, think- the initial patient who brought it did not, oh. but then I think the healthcare workers... Who caught it from him uh, did live. Fair. Mm. I do remember though there was that that helicopter footage of the guy who uh, initially came back from Africa with it. <clears throat> he was in an apartment in Dallas and he was walking out to his car and he threw up blood all over the sidewalk. Oh! And then the news helicopter is going by and they showed just like a maintenance guy with a with a hose washing off. Yeah. This Ebola blood like into the sewer. Uh. And I was like, holy shit, that's not good. Are you saying that he shouldn't have just blasted it down the drain? I'm just saying there's, I want people in suits right. with, you know, Chemicals the big and... tubes that they have to walk through to get to it. Yeah, that's what I yeah. want. Like, I when they found, the when they, like, like when they found E.T., yeah. <laughs> like all those guys show up, you want those guys there cleaning up the Ebola like blood. Monsters, Inc. Yeah. You want like yeah. zip up rooms in your house. Right. Stuff. That's exactly right. Blech. I don't think, well, a lot of stuff dies in blood, doesn't it? That's oh, this, dude. This is it, right? Yeah, it's power washing it. Oh, oh my, my God. God. And look at the ru- – I remember this lady too because you can see the water running off to her feet uh. and she's just standing there. You know. Uh, it's Do you like- think she got it? 
This is like the, this is like the opening credits to some apocalypse movie where they just show that <laughs> clip and then they show like the numbers and all the countries turning red. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like that video game where uh, you try to make a uh, play a virus plague ink. Why well, there's like a couple ones that are all the same? Yeah, I feel like there was no. They should have been able to say, "This is our game. Don't make this fucking game." Well, like, it's like uh, twenty forty eight threes. Yeah, kind of the same thing, I guess. You still yeah. playing PUBG? Yeah, I played PUBG. You guys played uh, PUBG with vaulting the other day, right? Game changer. Was it good? Uh, it's the What's, same. It's what? the same. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah. Is it really? Okay. You can climb a fence? Yeah. I didn't realize that was such a big deal. Can you That's go th- not really like something to be talked about in an update. Can you That's go through windows, like a, though? Can you go through windows? I don't know. I went over a fence. <sighs> okay. But, like, why is that, like, the new feat? That's like, like oh, you would sneak it. that in in a patch. I could have used it the other day when I was playing. That's big news, man. That's not big news. Game changer. All the stuff you could already do, and that's big once news. Once you go through windows, then there are many more entrances and exits out of houses. Hey, I agree with you. It's not big news. I just don't see it as big news. How many hours do you have in PUBG? Like 15. Yeah, get the fuck out. Yeah, wow. Look at that. Look, I mean, yeah, I'm just, very, I'm just, just looking at it news. from the point of view of an average of a loser. Joe. <laughs> of a loser. You can jump, over, jump out a window. Great. It's great. How many hours you got? Oh, I don't have... I, I, relatively, I don't have that many. I think I'm at like 205, I want to say. 205 hours? Yeah. He's got way more than me. Uh, Yeah, I could probably see what I have. I can log into Steam and see, but I think I got like 240. <sighs> yeah. I just don't think that the close-up combat is any good. It's like 10 full days of Fred PUBG. Clunk. You're very wrong. It's clunk. You're very wrong. It's okay that you're wrong, but you're definitely wrong. They changed the bullet dynamics as well. They added a lot more atmospheric drag. Different shape? Oh really? Yeah. The, the, so the, at close range, it's the uh, uh, they fire the same, but above like 200 meters or so, they start to act differently. The uh, gravity has a greater effect as well. Does it affect damage? Is this like a range? No, thing? it affects where your bullet ends up. That's oh. too much. Yeah. Everything you said is too much. Oh, stupid. You know what's not too much? It's fucking. St- what is not too much, Gus? Next sponsor. Dollar Shave Club. Oh, because it's only a dollar. <laughs> uh, I want to remind everyone this episode of the Receive Podcast is also brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. You've heard me talk about the amazing shave I get from Dollar Shave Club razors, uh, especially when it's used with Dr. Carver's shave butter. Well, I'm here to tell you I'm never giving up my membership. In fact, I'm adding even more Dollar Shave Club products to my daily routine. Dollar Shave Club makes products for your hair, face, skin, shower. It's everything you need. They have me looking and feeling amazing. Uh, I got Dollar Shave Club for just about everything. They got me covered head to toe. And with gift memberships and e-gift cards available, Dollar Shave Club can help cover the names on your holiday shopping list too. I want you to love Dollar Shave Club as much as I do, so I've arranged for you to try. (laughs) Thank you. Our first month of their best razor, along with travel-sized versions of the shave butter, body cleanser, and yes, even butt wipes for just $5. After that, replacement cartridges ship for just a few bucks a month. It's the Dollar Shave Club starter set. Um, get yours for just five bucks exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash roosterteeth. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash roosterteeth. Uh, go check it out and, uh, you can, uh, get some razors and some, uh, Dr. Carver Shave Butter, some wipes, everything. <clears throat> I have 361 hours in PUBG. That uh, can't, 361? That can't be all playtime. I've got to have left it on the main menu. I You're- just... I haven't played that much. God, that's a lot. That's of like hours. ten weeks, 40, 40 hours a week. I, I can, I can absolutely guarantee I played that much. That's a lot of weeks. I really have not. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know if you saw. I, um, I played th- five hours in the last two weeks. So oh, a few weeks ago, I uh, four point six. How much free time? Four point six hours in the last two weeks. That's a lot. Four point six hours four over hours. two weeks. Two hours in a week is a lot. Two point three hours. It's like not even half an hour a day. True. Or if we could just play for an hour. I mean, it's just like you play a video game. Yeah, and the game, hour. a match lasts maybe up to 30 minutes. I also do a really dumb thing where I have wireless headphones. I got a Razer Man of War headset. I fucking love it. I'm thinking of actually looking into this Razer phone because I'm actually, I really like most of the stuff that Razer makes. Yeah. They make good stuff. I no. a lot of Razer stuff, but my headphones are Astros. You should get Meg. Oh, here's they a Christmas make... gift idea for you. Okay. You should get Meg a Razer webcam. Because it's they finally somebody okay. made a webcam with a ring light. Yeah, but it's a shit. It's like dank okay. crap. It, it's, the sense is no good. Okay, it's just a webcam. Razer do make tremendous stuff, but their game controllers are ugly. <laughs> They're hideous. Have you Why ever used game, what they look well, like? game controllers? No, I don't think I have. Like console controllers. They make console controllers. Yeah, like the Razer Xbox thingy. They, they now make like... a wireless headset for the Xbox One. No wires at all. 
I like their PC stuff. I like the keyboards and mouse. I like their RGB stuff. Me too. The the mouse that I I learned how to play Smite on PC using a Razer mouse. Yeah, and it was like with the best, all the, with all the, the numbers on the sides yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, loved it. Guys, I I, I bought something really interesting on uh, Steam the other day. A Teddy's recommendation. What's that? Um, it is a early access game that I didn't know was in early access. It's currently in development. It is a new Star Control game. Really? Star Control Origins. Had you and, talked to him about Star Control before? or uh, Teddy? Yeah. Oh, they've, they've both played all the way through. Okay. Why yeah. are you yelling? I make everyone play that game. Yeah. My kids, my kids had to play it as part of their video game education. Great game. Such a great game. Such a game. Star Control 2, very specifically, yeah. is a good game. Every other one of them is garbage. But Star Control 2 is probably one of the most amazing games ever made. How do be down? It's being developed by Stardock? Huh. Pretty cool, right? Do you talk about yeah. the Battlefront stuff? Not really. I've been playing that game. I've been playing the campaign. You playing PC or Xbox? Playing on Xbox One X. Okay. Which I love, by the way. As someone who thought the Xbox One was a terrible piece of shit, I, I really like the One X. Why? What's different? I mean, I thought a lot of your problems were revolved around, like, the Kinect. Yeah, well, I got rid of that. Unplugged that. And then the update, the recent update is better, I think. Mm-hmm. And also just runs games nice. Like thought- on Hitman now, you can pick between uh, like HD high frame rate, so guaranteed 60 or 4K and it's less frame rate. But I, lo- I love that stuff. I love those PC elements sneaking into console, and I think it's a great console. And Battlefront 2 is a fun campaign. It, uh, it looks a lot of fun. I played a multiplayer match at E3 this year, and that was a lot of fun. I was paid to play it, I should point out. But I still had a lot of fun. What have the so. reviews been like? Oh. They've, been pretty, <laughs> they've been pretty negative, haven't they? <laughs> There's a... Go ahead. Go ahead. The most downvoted comment in Reddit history well, I know what the comment, was a response to this. But it's only, only because of like some DLC or something like that? There are pay-to-win elements in the multiplayer where uh, you, if you want... Like, let's say you're playing this game, right? <gasps> when that, it, it's confusing. If you want it's to play as... Let's say that you want to play as Darth Vader in multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. He's not unlocked initially. Yeah. You have to earn in-game credits to unlock him. Okay. In order to get enough credits to unlock him at an average credit earn rate, you have to play the game for 40 hours. For one character. For it, one assuming you character. don't spend those credits on anything else. Jeez. And there are, um, there were, they removed them before the game launched, crystals you could buy with real money to unlock loot boxes that gave you upgrades for other things. Okay. And some of which did affect how competitive you were in gameplay. How is that different from any other game with microtransactions? Uh, the fact that... Because it helps you win. Right. Like the, 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 I think people got upset when it came to the star cards were, you, were how you could get star cards via paying real money and the star cards affected your in-game performance. Like someone showed a side-by-side where they played Boba Fett with no upgrades and he was shooting someone for like 10 seconds before they died. Then he used like a star card that he paid for mm-hmm. and he, with the same Boba Fett character, he shot at someone for two seconds and then they died. Yeah, I, I agree. That's garbage. And I haven't actually played multiplayer. I'm doing this game all wrong. But the mm. uh, the campaign's really fun. Mm. And it looks great. I think a lot of people also look at, like, the way Overwatch does loot boxes, right? Where you can er- you can earn in-game currency by playing the game, or you can buy loot boxes with real money. And the only things you get there are cosmetic. They don't affect gameplay at all. It's like you, you have access to all the characters all the time. You're just unlocking skins and, like, emotes and sprays doesn't affect how the game's played at all. I had a weird feeling the other day where I, where I finally felt like all technology is great. Like, the, we got the Switch, so I can play Mario while I take a dump. I've got, we got Xbox One X, which is like, it's not, it's not as good as PC, but it's like, you know, it's getting there in the living room. Yeah. And then, and then I was realizing that some stuff is just massively behind. Like, the, the quality of a phone call or webcam. Yeah, and stuff. you tweeted about that. But I feel like day. everything... Phone calls are shit. Phone calls are shit, and yeah. the, the entire really... time I've had a mobile phone, I'm pretty sure it's always been shit. I've never noticed an improvement. Maybe I have, and I just don't but realize how, how it. how often do you make phone calls? With the, I have to be on conference calls I mean, with the lot, advancement just... in every text messaging system and, like, ways we could message each other on Pe- Twitter. People and love Instagram. conference calls. Yeah. They bloody love Yeah, them. but that's not, like, a lot of people. A lot of people do conference calls, Barbara. I would say the majority of people don't. Fair. <laughs> Either way, there's no good. If you work in any kind I of, that, I love that. Yeah, you you tweeted that, and I replied to you. Uh, the, you replied to me with words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, you know, there's some people I have trouble understanding on the phone, and because the quality's so bad, I said FaceTime audio calls help. And then someone replied with a very helpful 
uh, response. Because FaceTime is over the internet while phone calls use really old network bands. Thanks. I mean, that's <laughs> kind of the point I was making. Yeah. Thank you. So I wonder if you turn off LTE for voice, if that would help. Why would it help? Uh, just because if you just go over the analog network, if should we should we have a phone the analog right network, now? I thought was Here, disconnected. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, Gavin. Call me. I'll put you on speakerphone. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the, the feature that nobody does. I'm gonna send you a recording message. Okay. I do that sometimes. Because the downside. Sorry. Go for it. Go ahead. No, you go for it. Hey, Gavin. It's Bernie. Just wanted to see how you are doing. Call me. <laughs> Love you. All right. And I have a lot of trouble because the only people I talk now to are Americans. <laughs> it was so, right, let me, so bad. Let me put this on speaker. By the way, when that that feature is ninety percent used by accident, yeah. I would imagine mostly. Hey, Gavin, it's Bernie. Just wanted to see how you are. I just feel okay about that. That's fine. I've heard him before, and they're like, fruff, 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 fruff. that wasn't bad. Either way, it doesn't sound like a, a person. No, it sounds like a robot. Which sucks for me because I'm kind of giving up on text. Like, there's some people that I only talk to via text, and I just, I've said, I'm not doing this anymore because it's just, it's... Am I one of them? No, 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 you're fine. You're uh, fine. It's like, because I see you in person. There's some people I don't see in e. person. I only see them occasionally, and it's like I have to text them on a regular basis, and tone and context do not come across in text. Yeah, it almost becomes so like, it's like a like, I gotta, life. I gotta make a voice phone call to this person. <clears throat> and then I make a vo- vo- voice phone call, <laughs> and it's, uh, it sounds like garbage. Do you do it on FaceTime, Olivia? <laughs> Why did you go across <laughs> do what? Do you ever do FaceTime audio? Never. I love FaceTime audio. I feel yeah. like it's a different vibe calling someone with it. Like a phone call, it's like, oh, quick phone call. I feel like if you go straight in with a FaceTime audio, someone's going to be like... Doing? Well, it's because the word FaceTime is associated with it. Well, it's just Should be ear time. <laughs> <laughs> right? You Why go? is it... What'd you go? Ear time. Should be FaceTime. <laughs> but ears are on there's the no, face. There's no face. No, they're not. Yeah. Ears on on the face. Ears are face adjacent. They're behind the ears face. Ears are on the head, not the face. Okay, that's what I would say. Either way, it's we're like close. a different. If I receive a FaceTime audio call, I immediately think, "Oh, this will be a long one," because it's not like a quick thing you do for some reason. By the way, FaceTime, great name for the product. That's really like, occasionally someone gets the perfect name for something. FaceTime, FaceTime is great. It really is the perfect name for that product. Yeah, because you want to get some FaceTime. Yeah. yeah. But it's also your face and yeah. And then it's time for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Barb. You're welcome. Just wanted to I, add to, their con- <laughs> to that conversation. I do think they should rename it Ear Time. <laughs> for audio. Just like a regular they phone call with Ear Time. Stuff. I'm glad they finally so fixed that, that fucking sound it makes when it rings. It used to be so bad. That was Skype. Yeah, that is Skype. You're right. What, are you an idiot? Oh my god, it is Skype. I so am is an idiot, apparently. Uh, it's a lot more muted. Like, before, it was just, like, piercing. Why don't it just ring? Like, a f- the, the whole annoying part of it is that it's different to a phone call. Just have it be a phone call, and it sounds better. Why call it FaceTime audio? Because then they can't have a phone call that sounds better, because phone calls go over... It's yeah, like what the guy why, told me. No, it goes over why doesn't it... Why doesn't it... If I want to phone you, and I have an iPhone, and so do you, and we're both on Wi-Fi, why doesn't it just use FaceTime by default? Default. Yeah, I'm gonna FaceTime call you, and we can hear it. Well, you're in this. You're right next to each other. It's gonna not sound. No, good. we're just hearing the ringing, the, the Barbara. Ringing. Oh, damn! It says it's ringing. Is it on audio and um, not silent? But it should know that you're an iPhone calling an iPhone. Right, it and it should automatically that. be like, "Oh, okay, this is what you really yeah. want." So switch to internet if both people have. <laughs> this is a great demonstration, <laughs> by the way. Oh, <laughs> Miss Cool. <laughs> so Barbara was right. And here we go again. It's just my ringtone. Oh, it's your ringtone? Yeah. yeah. It's not that piercing one. Does it do that before. now? That's, That's your great. Ringtone? It's like exactly what I just described. It's just this FaceTime audio there. Yeah. But see, you, now you can't tell. Yeah. I much prefer that. Yeah. I'm very excited because I just got the Switch a couple weeks ago. <gasps> and um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited because I get to, I get to play it on the uh, really long flight to Sydney. Oh, and it's r- going to be my first time having a switch on a on a flight. No, it's good. Yeah, it and works that's really like well a for that. fifteen hour flight. It's the only time I've ever used my switch is when I was doing Thanks. lots of international traveling. Yeah, well, you guys are going to come to Sydney too. Look at that so segue. We could all we could all play our switches on the on the plane. Well, not with each other. Who's going to rules. Sydney, Barbara? Oh, I'm going to Sydney, but Bernie, you and Gus are going, right? You guys have announced that. We have not we, been announced. We're announcing it right now. <laughs> Barbara, you're stealing my line. Did you mess that's- up for real? No. <laughs> She did on purpose. Just per- I just pulled a Bernie. She did. She make you fun. Are you of proud me. of me? She make you fun yeah, of me. Yeah, Bernie and I will be there as well. We're 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 hoping we can figure out if Gavin can go. As, as always, perpetual uh, 
visa issues. Bad time of year. That in, fact, in fact, we were, uh, they were going to announce the whole podcast crew going first, I think. Mm-hmm. But because Gavin's up in the air, they're saying uh, Bernie, Barbara, and Gus from the podcast crew will be going. I'm like, you realize if you make that announcement, <laughs> you're basically announcing that someone's not going. Yeah. what you're doing. Saying, that, where's Gavin? Yeah, because yeah. then where's Gavin list? But Gavin is, of course, his visa issue is always an issue. And he will probably come if he can. I will come if I can. I definitely want to come. Uh, my visa expires every year at the end of the year. I thought so it was every like, three years for you. Is it not? No. no. Man, that sucks. Every smegging. I've got to go to the embassy in London. It's the whole thing. Interesting thing about this RTX. Which one? Sydney? Yes, the one that's coming up. Okay. RTX Sydney. Demonstrates the growth of the company and the uh, increasing formal procedures that we have. I got an invitation to go to the convention. Did you guys get that? I got an invitation as well. That was interesting. I got a formal invitation of like, we would like to extend an invitation for you to attend RTX Sydney in February of 2018. Uh, Please reply if you'd like to come. I don't know if I got that. Did I get that? I don't know. Are you not going? (laughs) No, I'm going. Whether they want me to or not. I feel like like solidarity. If I don't go, you shouldn't go. Somebody I know was very Mm, put off by me getting that email. What? They were very put off by me getting that email. I won't name names, but she was like, why would they do that? (laughs) She was, she didn't know why there was an invitation sent. She was like, she was like, wouldn't you be going anyway? I said, I said, yes. I said, but I actually like it. Don't you like it? I liked it. I thought it was great. Yeah. No, it's nice. Absolutely. It makes you feel like you you didn't get one. You can't talk about it. Yeah. We got it. Maybe I did. Maybe I just forgot. I can read it to you. No, I just want to. Is it because in the past it would be like someone walking into your office and be like, you want to go? And you're like, no, it would just be like, you're going. You're like, cool. RTX Sydney. Did you find it, Bernie? Uh, Sydney invitation. Ah. <laughs> <You're right there. laughs> okay. Uh, everyone would like to officially invite you to be a special guest at RTX Sydney 2018. Below are a few event and travel details to get the process started. Da, 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 da. Please update us with your attendance and approval ASAP. Did you reply? <laughs> I said, yeah, here's my reply. Okay. I said, thank you so much for having me again. I am delighted to accept the invitation to 2018. Let's all have a great event. Really? You know what my reply was? See you there. It was your reply where you making fun of him? Or was I was like- not. I was, I was in the spirit of uh, the formal invitation. I when was the sent? When was <laughs> I wrote a lovely Mine was October 25th. Does it come with like a year? RSVP you can print? Yeah. Oh, it's even funny because it's like Ellie's on the chain, and she's like, she's like, wow, congrats, you got invited to your own convention. I said, did my response sound sarcastic? <laughs> it really did. Was it, was it really that the, uh, late? I, I thought their uh, their guideline for how much airfare should cost to fly to Australia was a little ridiculous, though. Uh, yeah, it's a little ridiculous. What was it? $1,500? You can get, you can get you it can done. Get, you if you do it in that. advance, you can do it. Yeah. Well, not so, on a, an airline, though. I committed to no traveling. In fact, the, the the vlog this week was all about saying no. Um, I saw that, yeah. And when to say no to things. And I'm just say no to drugs. I'm committed to writing uh, this next project that I'm on, and I'm dedicating my time to that, and among some other things. More on that later. Gavin, I'm working on something for you in particular. Um, I got the weirdest thing today. I got invited. I, I I think I could say this. I got invited to a convention in Brazil. In two weeks. Oh, fuck. It's literally, it's taking place in two weeks, and they want me to go to Brazil, Sao, Sao no. Paulo. There you go. You should go. See, exactly. So that's, I'm like, I'm like, no, of course I can't go to Brazil in two weeks, but it's like, holy shit, somebody wants to send me to fucking Brazil. That's pretty cool. Have you how been can, there? How can, no. Yeah, good. How can I say no to that? Absolutely. You should go. Two weeks from now, go. Gus? Two weeks? Have you ever been to Brazil? No. Go. You, use Felicia Have you? Day's no. Advice. I want to go to Brazil. I like oh, you know why I couldn't find it? Because they friggin' send it to Eric instead of me. They send it to my manager. Yeah, way a good cover. Wanted to invite me. So they asked my boss. Two, weeks, wow. is a, nice two weeks is an eternity in in most people's lives. Is it though? Why would, it be, why would it be less time in my life? Well, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people, it's like, yeah, you want to go to Brazil in two weeks? They'd be like, yeah. I mean, this is coming from the guy who doesn't have two hours of spare time a week, apparently. That's a strange thing to him. I think two weeks is not a long time when you're traveling internationally. I think a lot of, like, uh, like an average person would want more time to plan. I, have you ever been freelance? Didn't you play Stardew Valley for, like, 40 hours in one weekend? I play it on the plane, like, when I'm pooing and things. Didn't you, though, you landed, you got back here, you sat in your house and played it when Meg was out of town? Probably. Probably. 
Yeah. I mean, no, yeah, people are busy at different times, isn't it? How Didn't you do you? that instead of coming up for bibs with us that one night? I think maybe that's possible. Look, if I've just been traveling and I've just landed that day, probably not going to go out that night. You hadn't landed that day. Well, what are you talking about? I don't even remember it. Boy, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, he had gone out for bibs somewhere else. I don't oh. want to talk about this. Right, he had gone out for bevs talk about anything else before and didn't want to join right. us for bevs. I real Barbara and I. What was what night, what night was that? Go ahead. Uh, oh, I remember the night you're talking about. Sunday yeah, night. yeah. Barbara and I had a very it's a, a unique, not unique, but a very rare occurrence. Barbara and I traveled together, and it was just the two of us. We went to New York just City together. Two. What for? Uh, we did a podcast. Can we see? Yeah. We got, I, they, Sean we in the could, Wild. We could we could yeah post about it from the makers of Hot Ones. And they had us out to uh, sample a Brooklyn Renaissance of barbecue. So we went to New York to have barbecue. Amazing. It was pretty cool. Amazing. But the cool thing was Barb and I got to catch up the entire time. Like I have, I feel like I haven't done anything with Barb in a long time. Yeah. I was expressing that to you right before we both got booked on this trip too. It's true. You were. Yeah. And then that happened. No, it was kind of serendipitous in that sense. That was nice. It was a lovely time, it was Barbara. A little, I had a great time with you. Barbara is a... 100 A plus traveling companion. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. No, no complaints. Agreed. But if Sophie I'm... was there, would have fucking destroyed everything. <laughs> but Barbara everything. was great. <laughs> Why does Sophie destroy it? She gets lost everywhere we go. She gets. I mean, she's, it's just mayhem. I just, know, I just always <laughs> know where I'm going and what I'm doing. Yeah. I, like, well, she I... knows what where she's going and what she's doing. It might just be the wrong place, version, or day. Didn't she take us to the wrong, like, it was something Santa in L.A. Yeah. There, yeah, location in Santa Monica versus somewhere else. And, and, and sometimes we, she'll nail the location and who your contact is, but it'll just be the wrong day. Yeah, we went to do an interview one time. It was like, it was the same Starbucks. <laughs> it was a Starbucks, the equivalent of it. Oh, it wasn't an actual so Starbucks, but it was a, some kind of coffee place. And it was, I think, 18 blocks away from the actual one we were supposed to be at. So it was the same name, <laughs> but a different one. Mm, so. I could so, see how that would happen. Uh, I like her on trips, though. She's a fun she's a, she's person a, who drinks. She's <laughs> a fun, she's a fun traveler. Bra uh, on Twitter, Brandon M. at BMAC92 asked, would Bernie even be able to get a visa to travel to Brazil in only two weeks? So I looked it up. In order to uh, for an American citizen to visit Brazil, you need to go to the Brazilian embassy and, to get a visa. You can't just go as a tourist? You cannot there, get like, it like, online. Right? You cannot do it at the airport. You would have Only to visit. Only Americans? In Houston? I mean, Where's that? I don't know about any other country. Oh. I don't know where the nearest Brazilian uh, embassy is. So you would have to visit a Brazilian embassy before you go. Why I'm, such strict travel to Brazil? I don't know. I don't know, man. So is, ba is Barbara better to travel with than, than I am, Bernie? You're both, you're both pretty easy to travel with. I, I just like, well, Barbara will go do stuff, and you don't like to do stuff. Oh, when we're traveling, I'm always doing stuff. That's why I'm there. Mm -hmm. I'm there to do stuff. Trying to think, when was the last time you and I traveled? Together? But also, like when you travel with Gavin, are you the one who knows where you're going, what you're doing, or oh, is that's, he? Always, that's always the case. That's but then, the case. when you're traveling with me, no, I know it's right. Barbara's so one of the few relax. people where I don't feel like I'm like leading a field trip. You know, there was one time. Okay, but here's the thing: <laughs> if I'm traveling with you, I'm just helping you do a thing. Mm -hmm. You're not like helping me do a thing. I'm not like I have to go and do this. Come with me, because that, if that was the case, I'd be on top of it. I'd be like, but that's not what I was. I, I was. Gavin saying he never takes me anywhere. But that's I what I just heard. He was in there. That's literally me. what I just heard. No, you would. What? <laughs> <laughs> he, I would like. He wasn't there for me. I wasn't leading him around because like it was my thing that he had come along with. For yeah, I'm saying you're going above and beyond. I'm just an organized person. I like knowing what I'm doing. I appreciate that. I am too. But and you're also too... flexible. You did not give Beth any shit about thinking twenty was ten. Exactly. Because twenty it's was like, ten. What does that mean? Did I not tell you? I told you the story on Always Open about us getting out of Rome. And she thought twenty was ten. She thought 10? twenty in. Oh, that. We missed our flight out of Rome time. because she had the time mixed up. She thought twenty meant ten o'clock. And you guys just had to stay overnight <laughs> another day in Rome. Then we had to stay in Fumicino, <laughs> Italy. God. Yeah, she doesn't have to tell the time. But it's like I didn't give her shit for it because it's like, well, then you wait till the podcast. Well, the, the thing is that we were in the car. It was eight oh five. Our flight left at eight fifteen. We were still on the way to the airport. It's like, what well, we can't, we physically cannot do anything. It's not gonna happen. Hilarious. So it's like but. either I could get upset about this, or we could just be like, oh well. Why don't they teach time to Americans? She. Knows the time. I think it was just a mixture of things. Like we got no, into but, London. Oh, no, no, like all I, I, Americans. Like all Americans call it military time. Yes, that's right. But the rest of the world just calls it that. It's the time. Yeah, like it's a, a twenty-four hour clock. Everyone knows that. Even if you don't use it on your appliances or whatever, mm -hmm. everyone I, knows that like twenty-two is ten. I keep my phone on twenty-four hour time. Yeah, 
I think it should be like one of those things that people just love. I still have to do the calculation every time. I agree with what you're saying. Like when you say 20, I was like, uh, okay, uh, 8 o'clock. Okay, got it. Yeah. And I guess because I learned it so young, I never have to like add 12 to the number or deduct 12. Deduct yep. 12 yeah. It's just like 17 is 5 to me. It's, it's more, it's really convenient. Like when I used to handle events, you know, as we were growing and doing stuff overseas, I had to know, like, I'm calling someone, is it 8 in the morning or is it 8 at night there? Yeah. You know, so it's a lot easier when you keep track of world time with 24-hour time. Yeah. Yeah. It's certainly uglier to look at. Also doesn't, say. Doesn't look as nice. Like, it would be sucky well, to say, the like, the podcast that, starts at 17 o'clock. But everyone, I feel like people who know, like, that is military time is when you read it that way. But, like, if I, if I look at 1750, yeah. I would read it as 550. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So you wouldn't say 1750. I've never done that. I've never Maybe heard anyone English. say that. Well, I've heard people say 1700. Really? Yeah. yeah. But uh, Jared Latta on Twitter, who is this, at 512, says the Brazilian policy toward American tourists is in response to U.S. sanctions on Brazilian tourists to the U.S. Yeah, Ooh. probably so. Everyone's getting retaliatory. Yeah. I bet we could get right in. What? Because you, you guys have uh, non-U.S. Oh, passports. we could get right in? Yeah. Absolutely. Should we go to Brazil? It's like us weeks? in Cuba. We'll take your place. We can go to Cuba now. Oh, you can't Do you want to go to Brazil? I can get you added on. Brazil. No, I either one of you. I don't want to go. No, either one of you. Either. Gus, I got to work. I'll say I'm, I'm, a, I'm right here. Gus, I've got to work for it. Gus, you want to go? <laughs> Two weeks, you got to get your thing. You got to record a vlog with me, too. No, Which, no, God, no. You, that's the whole thing. What's you've wrong been with in, you've been in vlogs? vlogs. Yeah, making fun of them. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. Um, we got to record a vlog at the Renaissance Festival this weekend. I love Scott so much. Hey, man, thanks for letting me stop by. Cool. Really enjoyed it. Uh, also, it was great to hear about Barb masturbating with a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this will add on at the end. All right, let me see what Ellie said to me about this thing. Why not just your fingers to start? I was 11. Oh, God. Am I crazy? Where is this? <laughs> God. Where did she mention the Doc, totally said You're like trying to figure stuff out. Don't you don't know. shame me. Yeah. There's no shame. So what, what's wrong then? That's just really young. Is it though? I guess not for a girl. No, not, not for did anybody. Did you ever, like when you were starting out, use anything weird like a teddy bear? I think a, mm -mm. a lot of the ways girls discover how to masturbate or something is they rub up on something and it feels good. There was a, and then they keep rubbing up on that thing. There was a joke in a good. later episode, in a later season of The Simpsons, where Marge revisits a merry-go-round that she used to ride when she was a little girl. Yeah. She said, "Oh, I remember. This is my favorite horse. This is Mr. Funny Good Feeling." Yeah. <laughs> It's well, along those lines. Well, I think a lot of uh, young girls also really enjoy those, like, hot tub jets. Mm. <laughs> Pool jets. Fair. This is a very dangerous conversation. A very dangerous path we're going down here. Yeah. Hey, self-discovery. Everybody enjoys the hot tub jets. That. Everybody likes those. Yeah? Yeah, everybody likes those. Like in the butthole? I just saw, <laughs> I just saw your, uh, uh, an old vine. I was, for some reason, I went back and watched your old vine. I, I miss making vines with you guys. Those were a lot of fun. I, I was just I feel reminiscing like... about this the other day with someone where I was like, I remember on vine day where you would come in with some scripts and props and stuff, and we would lock ourselves in the conference room for yeah. like five hours. And it was so quick, too. It'd be like... I, I could spend almost the whole day in Achievement Hunter, and they'd be like, all right, let's knock out some vines. we get, like, five done yeah. before the end of the day. But before they made it where you could edit the thing, it was so oh, impossible. and the takes we would do. I yeah. still remember that milk one. Yeah, that's in the outtakes <laughs> of the thing we put together. But, I feel uh, like we, was, could, we could still do them. There was one, somebody put together a compilation yeah. online that had all of them, and one of them was just vines that some people from the company made in their personal accounts, and one of them was you with a party favor, and you were you were saying you found a new way to masturbate. Oh, yeah. You were... <laughs> You're like blowing yeah. the party favor and it's hitting you again and again. That was fucking funny as yeah. shit. I never saw that. Is that what's called a party favor? I don't know what else. And one of those like little like yeah. blowers. This is called right. What's the word for that thing? If what? you can if you can give me the word for it, I'll say it. Party, but, blower? party blower. Party blower. It's definitely not party blower. <laughs> party it's blower. A trumpet. That was my nickname in high school. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was, I was going to try to segue, but I'm not going to. Would you rather blow a whole party or suck the anal slime from that toilet? Gross. Yeah, Patrick is blow saying party blowers. Blow a whole blowers. party, absolutely. Yeah. He's saying party blowers? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah, cool. is that what it's called? So that's what a dumb name. Yeah, you, What's better than a favor? You texted, the favor you texted well, me and Gavin last night? Was it last night? Yeah. About how the birthday cake vine is your like favorite thing we've ever made. I laughed so hard when I watched that. I fucking laughed so hard when I watched it. And then the Ninja School one Shut was funny to up. me. <laughs> yeah. So none what's of the ones. The, wait, what, what's the Ninja School one? Well, you're asking me, like, what have you been up to? I said, I've just been busy trying to graduate Ninja School. 
And then cuts back to you and said, there's no such thing. And I immediately come behind you and go, yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about those vines is that they're so oddly cut off. and The, the, the timing is slightly off yeah. on all of them. I like the ones where you could hear someone go, go. <laughs> <laughs> I try to fit everything to six seconds. Like when we interviewed Corey. Oh. No, that, that, I think that was my favorite oh, one. I yeah. like that one a lot, too. Like I, I had to race to that first line because it, it takes you – you need to watch it once or twice to even understand what we're saying at the beginning of it. I think that, uh, we had to do that, that one so favorite. many times. And I think it got to the point where he said to me between recordings, he was like, I feel like if I have to listen to you call me black guy like six <laughs> or seven more times, I'm going to go ape shit. Might punch you, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, I miss those. We should do those again. Those kind of evolved, though, I felt like. I feel like those evolved into MDB. As I, I I don't know why. Nah. I, I feel like like a weird like spiritual successor. Because it was us three? Yeah. And it was like we were just like knocking out weird, stupid, creative stuff that we were just kind of throwing around and yeah, everything. Good point. Yeah. Oh, there's some works. We, there's no reason why we can't just make vines. There's in- Instagram video. Let's do that. But we'll and it. then we get like the the, oh, top of the-, <laughs> the vine theater. This the, is uh, oh, this is the milk challenge. Milk challenge. This is the one we had to do like eighty thousand takes on because we couldn't get the burp right. We all look so different too. <laughs> yeah, that's the weird thing. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago, but we all look so different. This one was good too because there were so many jokes layered into it. The piracy one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just gonna sit here and watch yeah. YouTube videos. Uh, should we? Should we put out? A oh, this Blu-ray? is why I was looking at it because I posted this on uh, <laughs> a friend of mine. She was looking for a, a girl uh, to make out with her as a photo oh. shoot, and so I, I was trying to find a, a gif of me doing that with the. The, the wig on, and so that's how, how I got this? in the Vine loop. How about this? We put all of those on Blu-ray, and we'll do audio commentary, <laughs> and we'll sell it. How long would that, sure would how long that, that movie be? Probably about three minutes. It's got to sell better than this fucking hat, which, by the way, I've noticed you guys snuck the hat into the background. It's right there. Look at it. It's right. There it is. Oh, there it is. Sneak that fucking hat in there. I'd wear it. You, well, here's your opportunity, Barbara. I can't get up. I'm stuck. Uh, I bet you can't. Put it on. The last time she I'm tried to dead. move, she fucking knocked over that it's table. It's true. I'm not moving. You want to wear the hat? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Well, let me hat. read this while you do that. Uh, I want to remind everyone, this episode of the Receipt Podcast is also brought to you by Pro Flowers. Pro Flowers recently sent us a beautiful bouquet, and I was impressed with how fresh it stayed over such a long period of time. Pro Flowers has a perfect gift for anyone excited about the fall, a long-lasting bouquet in their favorite fall colors. Their best-selling cinnamon cider roses are a great option for a birthday, anniversary, or any fall occasion. Cinnamon cider roses. Cinnamon? Or go with one of the classics like 100 autumn blooms or a dozen autumn roses. You can't lose because no matter which bouquet you send, our listeners get 20% off any Pro Flowers unique bouquets of $29 or more. To get 20% off all bouquets of $29 or more, go to proflowers.com and use code TEETH at checkout. That's proflowers.com code TEETH. Thank you, Pro Flowers. I think cinnamon refers to the overall color palette of the bouquet. Mm. See, warm, spicy, and comforting, this rich bouquet is bold in color and unique in design. Send exceptional orange roses mixed with red alstromeria and pops of yellow <coughs> micropalms for a gift that is truly <coughs> a fall favorite. What's an alstromeria? I don't know. Uh, anybody? <coughs> Alstromerias? Made, they made that up. <laughs> I, uh, I went out to L.A. for a really quick trip last week. What'd you go do? It. To do uh, a screening for Laser Team 2. Oh, you, oh. Went, you went just for a screening? Man, mm-hmm. I wish you'd gone to that. I landed, like at, I landed at LAX at 4.30 p.m., and I took off the next morning at 7 a.m. Wow. That's it was a fleeting visit. It was the quickest. I literally, like from the airport, went to my hotel, which was on the way to the, to the theater, dropped my shit off, and then just got, uh, went straight to the theater. Did I it. love that we live in a world where you can do that. Mm-hmm. It's like, just a trip. <sighs> can I tell you something? <clears throat> what is little, it, I'm a little embarrassed to admit this. What, uh, I, it's like looking in a mirror, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one's Bernie? I know, right? Which one do I shoot? The uh, uh, Barbara embarrassed me. Uh, she, what? I would say, humiliated me as a traveler. It's okay. You know what you did? Oh, I, Barbara outpacked me on this trip to New York. Like so, so much. Like incredibly. So we were we went into New York. We landed about seven p.m. and then we were out the next day at five p.m. So we didn't need much, but I just got this new carry-on, and I was kind of, like, hyped to use it. So I bought my carry-on, and I showed up at the airport, and Barbara goes, why are you bringing a carry-on? And I was like, I just, you know, I'm going to pack some stuff in it. She's like, I just have everything in my hair. Like, it was, like, stuff just tucked in her purse, basically. I was like, shit. I felt like such a <laughs> yeah. fucking And you had, you had your carry-on and, like, a backpack. I did. did well, my backpack your, has my gubs in it. But you got yeah. your gub bag. I got my gub bag. Gub no, bag. Ellie's got the gub bag now, but I have, <laughs> I have Wanda gubs. <laughs> I have less gubs. 
just put Ellie as the, your gub holder, basically. Yeah, she is. She's like the gub mule. <laughs> <laughs> just your Sherpa. She is. She's a Sherpa. She's a good Sherpa, though. Strong. Yeah, but she, uh, Barbara's just, she embarrassed me. And I felt really humiliated that I overpacked. Well, no one saw except everyone. I know. Every single person. <laughs> but what is that podcast coming out? Do we even know? I, it's, why are you calling it a podcast? Isn't it a show? It's a show, but I guess I, I don't know why I call it a podcast. Oh. It's a show. What um, is a podcast? I don't, know. I don't know. I got in an argument with Ben King years ago. If it fits in the podcast app on a phone, is that a podcast? Do you think this is? If you watch the video, it's not a podcast. Do you think podcast is yep. the last remaining remnant of iPod? Hmm. Like. There's nothing else pod. Well, the stuff. iPod, though. Well, is it, they killed off the classic, didn't they? They still make the iPod? Wait. iPod Touch is still made. Oh, this is, is it really? This is going to be a dumb question. Is it called a podcast because of iPod? Yeah. Yeah. That's about the same time. And Apple had this thing where they were putting them out and they were called podcasts. Jeez. Instead of broadcast, I think it was podcast. I think it was Adam Curry who coined the term podcast. Yeah. Instead of a broadcast. Wow, I feel like an idiot. I had no idea. The, let's stop calling these podcasts. Let's call it the Yeah, this shouldn't Teeth. be. Let's call it the Rooster Teeth. Google. Broadcast. Well, you don't call. That's ruin that well, let me, let me put it this way. When you go to Apple.com, they've got that banner across the top. Yes. The options are Mac, iPad, iPhone, watch, TV, music. There's no iPod at all in there. Where do you buy an iPod, Gav? I'm pretty sure you can buy an iPod Touch. But you don't call always open a podcast. It's a show. It, but it gets also distributed as a podcast. So I see where there's confusion. It's a weird legacy thing, though. Off topic yeah. is called the off topic podcast. This is the Rooster Teeth podcast. I don't know. I think it's because I feel like Always Open is a lot more produced, so it could be more of a show. It's also seasonal. It's not. Although I guess there, that's also could be a podcast. So yeah. I don't know. It, it's both. So how much does a top of the line iPod cost? One hundred and twenty bucks. Top of the line iPod. Yes. Choose a color. What color would you like? Blue. Got it, Barb. You got a blue one. You want one hundred twenty eight gigs because that's the best. Of course. You are paying three hundred dollars for that. Yeah, that's not three hundred. I was gonna. It does show here. It has messaging. It has FaceTime. So, do they make the Nano anymore? I wonder if you just got a fucking iPod. Oh, though you wouldn't have a three G signal. Uh, You wouldn't have a. You'd have to be on Wi Fi all the time. But just get an iPod and just don't worry about like all the other shit because you get all the apps and everything. It looks like on it. It looks basically just like an iPhone. Just like an iPhone without the. The cellular part. How the fuck did you yeah. find out how to buy an iPod? I'm still trying to figure out how to buy a fucking iPod on their website. So there's a magnifying <laughs> glass on the top right. You're killing me. Which ind- it indicates how to search for something, and then I search for iPod. Yeah, why don't you just search? iPod. But, like, there's no link to their store, even. Mm, no. Isn't the whole thing a store? What are you reading up in the lore of Apple? What are you doing in the I'm trying website? to buy a fucking iPod. All right, take it easy. All right, so, I'm on your side. So in the store, why can't you find it? I can't get to the store. The store is the Apple. The store is the site. Like there's okay. Is what is Apple, Apple website? So like okay, I'll, I'll show you what, what I did. Would be on an I'll Apple show you what site. I did. I, I saw this. I was like, okay, well, I, I'll get to the store by trying to buy an iPhone 10. So I go out here, like, all right, I found the thing. Oh, I better buy. I reached- clicked on it, and there's no way to navigate out of this. Yeah, product. Yeah, go, go on the Apple logo. We reached the bottom back to the home of the barrel of complaining about Apple now at this point. This is we're the bottom. On the website. I'm, I'm you, Gavin. I, I, we're on the website <laughs> on the you. podcast. It should be easy to find. Guys screaming like an There's old no man. There's no way you're going to find it. <laughs> so, Mad at the moon. Just enjoying my Bernie hat. You, it, when you click on a product, it drills you down into that with no way to get back up a level. Huh? You have to click the magnifying glass and search like an old fogey over there. I just I went right to it and I found it. That's how I you just well, that's how everyone does Guess who's now. buying iPods, Gus? <laughs> Old fogies. Oh, you're right. That's, that's who's like buying iPods. Point. Are you gonna buy the what's it called? iMac Pro? What is that? No. Isn't that the I think, garbage can? I I think looking at the, the website and all the reading all about it. I think it's like a six thousand oh. dollar iPad. Jo- Josh <laughs> Bolton <What>? on Twitter. <laughs> I heard my throat making that noise. <laughs> Josh Bolton on Twitter's right. You buy an iPod under music. Oh, what were you searching? Like on the tab at the top. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just sub drop down. Thank you, Josh. Uh, yeah, that's that seems ridiculous. Are they finally shipping those? No, I think that's December. I think it's like a space gray <laughs> iMac. That's. I see it. I'm looking right at it. I, I assume it replaces the Mac Pro because the little bin was a piece of shit. No, a... they said they're going to have a new Mac Pro. Are they? Yeah. Is it going to actually be functional at this point? God, I mean, that, that thing was such a piece of shit when we got it. We couldn't use it. It kept crashing. It didn't work with Adobe software. Mine didn't work for doing anything. 
I tried to edit Minecraft and that sucked. Did you get an Apple Watch, one of the new ones? No. I did. I have a Gen 1. I got a new one. Any I good? I didn't get a second gen, I got a third gen. The only difference I can see is that yours has a little red dot What on the, the dot. fuck is that red dot? I don't Why want that. Why doesn't do that? I don't want that red dot. Show the red dot. What is that it's red dot? It's a red dot. Red dot. What does see it the do? red dot? Pew, pew, I feel like pew. it's like a laser. Pew. It's like the golden eye watch. Yeah, nope. see, it's got a little red dot there on it. It's, it's with the, the dial, the, the, what they call the, the, crown. the crown. Yeah. The digital crown. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't want, because it's, it's the one thing that shows out of my sleeve is this red dot. Do they all have the red dot? I didn't ask for this. I don't know. I got a 3G one. LTE? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, whatever. The LZ LTE. Whatever. The, the, <laughs> the, 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 the cellular network. What's the point? What? Why'd you need that? I, you know what? When do you not have your phone on you? I, listen, I didn't, up, I didn't get the service. I just got it in case I'd want the service at some point. And then I could activate the service if I wanted it. So, so you paid more, but you don't use the feature. What if maybe, like, would it work if your phone died? Like, what if your phone battery died? Then could you still make a phone call with yes, your watch? You okay. Could. That's the one time I could okay, see. Okay, there we go. Then now I'm going to get the service. Because your phone dial up? like 10 bucks a month. No, because I keep it plugged in costly because the batteries are a piece of shit because Apple can't make a battery for fuck. <laughs> <laughs> why, do you, why do you patronize this company if you're so mad about this it all like the time? It's like someone saying it in an abusive relationship. <laughs> it is true. We're I've got all... two iPhones on me right now. I got my new one today. We're all. Get an iPhone X? We're all trapped. 10? <laughs> oh, fuck that 10 shit. We're what? trapped. What? Uh, I guess you want to stay inside the family of iPhones. Yeah, I got all you, my shit on You're talking about it. getting a non-iPhone, right? I don't know. I, I want to. <laughs> it's an abusive relationship. I can't leave. It's, it's a lot harder than it seems. I'll tell you what I hate my, the one time I still hate my iPhone all the time is every time I get a new one or wipe one or something like that and I have you to put. a white one. <laughs> but I got to put my Girl Talk albums back on my phone because you can't just download them, pay for them. You got to hook up to iTunes to put them oh, on your you, phone. You have Girl Talk on your phone currently? Yes. I lost my Girl Talk like three you iPhones ago. Sync yeah. it to, the I, to iCloud and it comes back down. The music doesn't. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Mine does. The music from, a, from like a CD? I haven't. I mean, it's on my phone. I haven't. You have Girl Talk on your phone? Yeah. Play, it's called Party Horns, by the way. No, wait. That's not right. Wes, what are you doing? What? Where are you? Party Horns are like the ones that go. Furp. They like yeah, we're talking about the ones that go. Yeah, Wes. <laughs> nice. You nailed that. was that. pretty good. Girl Talk. Right there. Holy dicks. And you just sucked that out of the cloud? Did you buy it yeah. on iTunes? No. I got this. I had. Uh, I bought it from his website. Oh, I shouldn't play that. <laughs> you don't buy it. You don't <laughs> buy it from the website. That's Feed the Animals by Girl Talk. <laughs> You're going to fucking get us. <laughs> yeah. This shit's going to get taken down. All right. Are we on YouTube? More than yeah. 10 seconds? Yeah. No, no. We get you when we release the final version, and then YouTube will demonetize it and say it's not advertiser friendly. Wow. Yeah, we can edit. YouTube. We can edit. We should, we should have. We can replace music. We can listen to Girl Talk right now and replace it with royalty free on the night. I don't think I don't think Girl Talk is subject to copyright though because they can't sell it or anything like that. Yeah, tell that to the fucking YouTube algorithm. Yeah. Also, he sells that shit everywhere. Who introduced like you HMB. to Girl Talk? What? Who introduced you to Girl Talk? Was it Ramses? Jeff? Yeah, it was the Ramses for me. Yep. That's how I first heard about him. I love Girl Talk. Who introduced it to the Ramses? Nobody. You? Oh, this guy is right here. Terrible. Did you really? Yeah. I gave this. Jeff a ride home uh, from the Congress office one time. Look Look for him. Son of a bitch. Look at this. It's like I'm scrolling. And then he goes, where, where are the specs of this thing? Well, here they are. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, Ew, what that looks you? terrible. That looks like that didn't load right. <laughs> that looks, that looks like it's fucked up. Show, show that on camera. Here, I'll, I'll see if we can show this. Okay. So. Yeah, I got to make that sound effect, though. 18 okay. cores. That's so a lot of cores. Here's, here's me Pro. scrolling. So I've got, I'm looking at my new iMac. And I would say, oh, what are the specs on this thing? Well, since you asked, here they come. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> then they keep going. Oh, some more stuff. More spec. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like terrible. they didn't load right. That's <laughs> really terrible. <laughs> That's a horrible design, dude. Are you no, gonna, it just keeps going like that. Are you gonna get one? No. Why would I go back to using an <laughs> iMac? I love my PC. I don't know who that's for. I don't if know. If they're who gonna that's make for. a Mac Pro, who is that for? You you can't upgrade people the who are built trapped. in storage. Yeah, I feel like a pro like, thing. You're gonna want to get in there. You're gonna want to strip shit right, out, like, make it custom. It's like they're they're moving. <laughs> yeah, they, they they're not content with you having to use dongles on your laptops. Yeah, just dongles for everything on your desktop Christ. too. I hate this trillion. And they're gonna be a trillion dollar company trillion next dollar year. Company. <laughs> trillion. We should do you know, It's because they're selling a million dongles. Do you know though? They're not the first trillion dollar company. Really? Who is? If you adjust for inflation, was it like Standard Oil or something? There's some like India shipping of like herbs and spices company. Oh, the like, East India the Eastern... company? Is it that East one? India. Oh, yeah, company? they like ran the world. Yeah. yeah. So if you adjust that for inflation, they were worth like three Girls? trillion or something. Yeah, that 
whatever happened to that company, right? Like, it was such a huge company. I think they had, like, more ships than most countries' navies. And yeah. they're just like, they don't exist anymore. And how does something get that big back then? Like, how does someone oversee all that without technology? There's right. no regulation. What? There's no. no regulation. So somebody was just smart. How do, you, how do you keep track of what's going on with your oh. company? I don't know. Like, oh, we've got like 90 ships in China. Well, how do you know? Mental. And how much money did they lose, right? Like, you can't keep track of inventory real time. Like, people just <laughs> yeah. I feel like that'd spices be a, putting it in their pocket. That'd be a fascinating miniseries to make about that company. We, you know, one of their major, the major uh, goods that they traded was saltpeter. That was their biggest thing. I just, I just, I just looked it up. The East India Company was founded December 31st, 1600, <laughs> and it ceased operations June 1st, 1874. That's a right. long time. A company that existed for 274 years and then stopped. There was, like you said, a $3 trillion company. Yeah. What happened to them? How did you like to be the dude in charge when they shut it down? It's like I think at that point. Like you, if you ran coke into the ground somehow. You know, how would you do that? Like New the coke? drug coke or the saltpeter? Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Like if you've got three trillion, the equivalent, you're just like, yeah, shut it down. Yeah, I'm done. There's no point in making four trillion. Nope. Because three trillion is more money than any of us could spend in a lifetime. It's probably more money than exists. Multiple lifetimes. It's like when in a game, if you enable God mode, and someone said, "There's God mode too," you'd still God. Yeah. You'd be like, "What's the point? What's I'm the already point? God. I've got God mode one." Yeah. I don't need God no, mode. No, I totally two. agree with you on that. Yeah. I kind of would want God mode too. Why? Because why not? Just because it's two is higher than one. <laughs> like, have, there's nothing to it at that point. Do you have a financial goal in your head, Gavin, that if you reach it, you will retire? <clears throat> no. Really? You're just always going to work. Well, I mean, that's, well, that's what people do. I can't. Like, I, it's, not, it's not about money. It's just about, like, staying busy and having fun and, make, and like, making content for Yeah, me. I can't imagine stopping or, like, yeah, not I working. Was, yeah. I, I can totally imagine it. I imagine it all the time. Just you would like, you would be happy to be like, and I'm done. Uh yeah, yeah. I think I would. I'd be like, I'm like. But then Do you're you have doing a goal in mind? spend time with family and all that. Yeah, come on. I feel like I I'd know. just be so bored. I feel like this is the fun part. Call my kids boring. <laughs> Family's over. Yeah. yeah, this is the fun part. This is the fun part. Like right. I, I look forward to when I was a kid and it was Sunday night. Oh. You'd get like Sunday night TV. It would suck. It'd be depressing because you go to school on Monday. Now when Sunday is over, almost over, I'm like, Monday tomorrow. I look forward to coming to work Aww. all the time. Yeah, yeah. I love it. You, um, you did something really unusual for this podcast. I don't know if you realize you did this. I came early. Besides that, oh. you, you accepted your... my calendar invite for this podcast. Interesting. Wow. Why did I do that? And he also You've arrived. never done that before. I've bitched about this forever. I want to screenshot it and save the little green check mark. Maybe I'm becoming a respectable employee. You haven't done it for the ones before this. You haven't done it for the ones <laughs> after it. That's how we knew that we should have the orange leg light because we knew you were coming for sure. I'm gonna find I'm out because uh, Meryl sent you an, uh, is gonna send you an email about something soon. People need to start saying her name respond. right. Meryl. But people say Meryl. Like, <laughs> no, they, they say it Meryl. fast. They say Meryl. Isn't that a Pokemon? I, I call her Meryl. 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 Meryl for fun though. Meryl. It's a nickname. Yeah. Um, Meryl. Speaking of Rusty stuff. Speaking of, Rooster Teeth stuff, we're speaking, speaking of Rooster Teeth stuff, uh, I want to remind everyone this podcast is also sponsored by the Rooster Teeth store. Home I mean, of the, the birdie hat. Store. You can shop the Rooster Teeth store at store.roosterteeth.com. It's much easier to navigate than that piece of shit apple.com store. It is true. <laughs> Did you know that Rooster Teeth has new merch every week, unlike Apple, including hoodies, <laughs> t-shirts, collectibles, and socks? It's true. The Rooster Teeth store is also a perfect place to buy gifts for the Rooster Teeth fan in your life this holiday season, or just spend that money on yourself instead, because clearly you have earned it. And it's cheaper... Than Apple. It's cheaper than buying an iPod, you yep. old fogey. Uh, <laughs> today only, get 15% off all Rooster Teeth merch at the Rooster Teeth store. If you're not watching live, head to the store at store.roosterteeth.com uh, and shop draw-droppingly awesome merch from for the holiday from Rooster Teeth. Ruby, Achievement Hunter, Let's Play, and more. Store.roosterteeth.com <laughs> works. Store.apple.com, it doesn't take you anywhere. So I tried. How long until Rooster Teeth is a trillion-dollar company? I Year never lived. I didn't bezel everything before that happened. It'd all be gone. So can you find, okay, if, if you want to find a key ring on our website, you can do that without searching. Store, oh, it auto-completed store.apple.com. Thank you, my Apple laptop, for doing that for me. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Store.roosterteeth.com. Okay, just go to the store enough that it auto-completes it to the Rooster Teeth store. Just go to store.roosterteeth.com slash fuck Apple. Let me that's guess. what we have. Yep, that's <laughs> where we'll find the Bernie hat. Yeah. Accessories, I'm going to guess. Okay. Right at the top. Why do we have a retired thing as our first accessory? Because it's it, they're selling out of it. It's retired. Uh, we can't say that. Retired? Oh, retired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It's not on the first page. Just but go I to the, go to the uh, Barbara Dunkelman collection. We have a lot of accessories. Barbara Dunkelman collection? Is that apparel? That's apparel. Sure is. There it is. Collections. Ooh. Ooh. I like the Rooster Teeth scarf that has teeth on it. I like that. The scarf that has teeth? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, I didn't realize it either. Someone had to point it out to me, too. But now that I see it, it doesn't... Which that would be a little bit too much if <clears throat> if it was clearly teeth, but it, you can tell no, it's, it's the rooster teeth. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. becoming more difficult at this company to get the merch to wear in <laughs> as a person stuff. You mean? Yeah, I used, I used to be like, hey, send me all this shit, then I'd wear it. I would wear it on the podcast, be good promotion. You can still do that? How? By sending an email to Zach. Okay. Yeah, they'd be happy. I see. Gus, or Nathan. Gus. Yeah, there's a there's literally right there. Literally, go grab that, please. Somebody, his, can somebody hand us this thing right here? This box. enormous. There you go. There's a <laughs> box of merchandise that they give us in case we want to wear it every single week. That's there every week. Every week. Here's what I would like. Every week. It's not there every week. It, it's there. They, every they week. all they do is talking about how they can't get Gavin. To oh wear Christ! Stuff. Look, if every piece of new merch was just on my desk, here you go. I'd, I'd be wearing it all the time, including my stuff. No, I'm not going to wear your stuff. Do I'm you wear gonna, Jeff's shirt? I'm not going to wear your stuff. I'll never be seen dead in a Jeff shirt. I like, I like, I like some of your stuff. Thank you, Gus. Good. Why wouldn't you? What? I know Is the answer. Books? Why wouldn't you wear it? Getting awkward. Uh, maybe we should wrap this up. All right. I um, want to thank everyone for watching this episode of Receive Podcast. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. And if you're a first member, you can also check out the post show. Love Live you. Live. Later. Bye. Boost the teeth. Fuck Apple.